and am live. I'm going to turn on some background music. Not a day, not a live stream. Living inside of this matrix. I'm a man on a mission. I work to uh, wake people up. Most people are not ready to be unplugged. But those that want to be unplugged, I will say this. All I'm offering is the truth. The truth about health, fitness, the truth about the world. The truth. That's what I'm offering. Like me in the matrix. All I'm offering is the truth. The truth about this world. And the truth about health and fitness. It's enough to say, it is sufficient to say the truth about the world. Because that includes how to live in this world and be strong, fit and healthy mentally and physically. At some point in time, I'm going to have to plug in the uh, power cable to my laptop. I turn on the power save mode already. I have a washing machine going in the uh, bathroom. So there might be some background noise. It should not be too much. It's in another room, but you might be able to hear that. I received a top form loader this morning. Vitamins, other supplements. I made a top form loader. I ordered, I ordered a lot of supplements from the Swedish uh, supplement store, the online supplement store called Top Formula. I ordered some supplements on Amazon, but a lot of the uh, supplements that I ordered, they come from Top Formula. I don't think you can order from them if you live in America or some other country. Uh, but if you live in Sweden, you can. Uh, this is not a promotion for them. They don't pay me to talk about it. But I'm a person that shares things that I do. Okay. This is the supplement that I take. This is the supplement that um, I bought. This is the, the new supplement I started trying. I will be open about that. So I received my uh, top form order. And it came 7 in the morning today 7 11 i checked my text it, it, it writes 7 11. it's not gonna arrive the same time exactly every time there's different delivery options but today it arrived 7 11 in the morning and i collected it and i opened the box and i just took my post wake up dose my post wake up grand dose of supplements Stretch my neck out a little bit. I'm going to plug in the uh, charger. I have an extension cable here. It's not super long, but it should be long enough to 
get the power cable. Bye, man. I ended up doing full mad yesterday. I fasted more than 20 hours. As my way is. In the Bible, when it talks about somebody's habits, their habitual way of living, it uses the words as his way was, or in the first person as my way is so if you would say normal language common current contemporary language use you might say my daily habit is one of my habits what i do every day every day i take vitamin c first thing in the morning or every day i take i drink a cup of coffee first thing in the morning now uh, the king james bible way to uh, say that would be I drank a cup of coffee today, as my way is. And that will be saying the same thing. Here's my uh, nebulizer. I'm going to be nebulizing a little bit later. I came down with something. Uh, I fell asleep with uh, a neck warmer around my neck three days ago, I think it is. And uh, I woke up in the morning coughing. I got a neck cold. Like you can get a chest cold, you get your chest wet. I got a neck cold, what I call neck cold. I fell asleep with a neck warm around my neck. And then I was sweating in my sleep and it gets cold in the room. And sometimes I have the vents open for ventilation. And if it's cold outside, it'd be cold there, like a cold draft, okay? Uh, it's not that I don't have heat in my apartment or something like this, but sometimes I have the vents open and there's a uh, cold air, like this snow outside and ice, okay, that cold. And there's cold air coming in to the room when you're sleeping and there's a draft of cold air so i might have the vent open on this window here and then in the uh, living room and the cold air is going past me when i'm sleeping and uh, at a certain point at night you get warm enough to start sweating around your neck because i have uh, had a neck warmer and i wake up coffee in the morning and i commence mega dosing sodium ascorbate which means mega dose of vitamin c I start taking vitamin C, I stop coughing. I woke up with a persistent cough around three days ago. Um, and uh, I wake up, take my coffee, mix up vitamin C water, start taking vitamin C, and I stop coughing. I Meaning the persistent cough. When I woke up, I was like coughing, woke up coughing, <laughs> couldn't stop. And then I woke up, um, well, after waking up, I go make up some, uh, I will go make some vitamin C water, drink some coffee. And sure enough, I start getting better rapidly. Get better. Rapid recovery. Vitamin C is real medicine. That's one of the things the system has been working to hide from people. How important it is to make it all vitamin C. That's what I believe. Because the Satanists that control the show from behind the scenes, they want people to be sick and depend upon the big pharma system. They don't want you to be uh, self-reliant. I'm living the life of a triumphant overcomer. I don't live like, uh, if you see my other videos, I talk about being a target individual. I don't live a miserable life like a defeated life. Oh, I'm trapped in this life. And I said, no. I'm a triumphant overcomer. I'm doing very important things. I'm a man with a purpose. I do a more important job than no, a normal job. If you're sitting at the supermarket or if you're a janitor or whatever you're doing, I'm doing a more important job than what most people are doing. I'm working to wake people up, unplug people from the matrix. I'm working to share the truth about everything, about how to become a Christian. I share the doctrinal truth, the truth about the King James Bible, sharing the doctrine, the true way to salvation, the truth about 
spiritual things. Okay, real Christianity. I'm working to share that with people. And I'm also working to uh, expose evil in this world. This is how the Satanists are attacking you. It's how to defend yourself. So I'm a man with a purpose. And I, I am a triumphant overcomer. I don't live like a beaten down, miserable life. Well, I'm, I'm being targeted by the government. I'm trapped. I'm hopeless. I'm trying to find a way out. No. I'm a triumphant overcomer, a victor. And I'm working to... Uh, I'm working on doing very important things. Fighting evil. I'm needing the matrix. I'm working to unplug people. All I am offering is the truth. But do you want the truth? Most people are not ready to be unplugged. Most people are not ready for the full truth. They're not ready. Most people are not ready for the full truth. That I'm here to teach you about the Bible, about your soul, about your health, about the world you find yourself in, about the nature of this world. The truth about everything important. Most people are not ready for that. They're asleep in the matrix. The matrix has you. The matrix has most people's minds. They have them ignorant about certain things. They have them believing other things. They have them ignorant of certain things. The matrix architects, the people around the show, around the matrix. They have people ignorant of things that are important to know. And they have people believing things that are untrue. And it's important not to. So my job here is important. I'm working to, uh, I have a purpose, meaning in my life. I'm serving a greater purpose, something important. I'm sharing the truth, the word of God. I'm sharing the truth about the scriptures, the spiritual world, how to become a Christian, what to do after you become a Christian. Um, share the truth about this world system, how it really is. You, know, you have a world system matrix. Most people can't see it for what it is. They sleep in the matrix and I'm sharing the truth, the real truth. This is what the world really is like. And importantly, this is how the Satanists, the matrix system architects that run the show. This is how they attack your mind, your body and your soul. And here's how to protect yourself. So now the uh, washing machine has started making this uh, louder noise. So hopefully it will not be too loud. It started making this type noise now. I put on the echo cancellation in the stream of mic settings and I turned down the volume a little bit. And turn on the lights, which is why I put on my uh, glasses here. I had a, a, some idiot leave a comment in one of my videos, uh, one of my shorts, where I was wearing sunglasses, smoking a cigar. And he wrote, only a douche wears sunglasses inside. <laughs> and I actually answered his comment. I, and later on, I'm like, why did I allow that comment? Just delete it. But I did allow it initially and answered it. And I wrote, or on a person with autism who has sensory sensitivities to LEDs and fluorescent lights, which is the truth, meaning I, I have autism, okay? Uh, I don't identify that's my whole identity. I'm an autistic person, no. But I do have autism. I can't help it. Okay. I have an autistic brain. You get that when you're a child. And uh, part of that is being sensitive to, uh, like, my brain doesn't like bright lights and loud noises, which is why you see me wearing some of my videos, hearing protection and uh, sunglasses. A fool answered the matter before he heard it, the Bible says. So that person is a fool because the Bible says that a fool answers a matter. Meaning you give your opinion like this is what it is. Meaning you're a douchebag because you wear sunglasses inside. And before you heard the context, like you don't know that the person is autistic and has sensitivities. And that's why they wear sunglasses. And you think, well, they may be wearing it because it looks cool. So for this. And that's a douchebag move. See, now you're a fool because a fool answers answers a matter before you hear it, the Bible says. I mean, if I see a guy with a, let's say I'm in the supermarket and I see a person wearing a mask and I go, that is a Karen, idiot Karen. They're super afraid, too afraid of the virus. They don't even have mandates anymore. This person is an idiot. Why are they still wearing 
the mask. It's not even mandated in Sweden. It's voluntary. This person is an idiot. But I, maybe that person has allergies and asthma. And then have they have allergies. And if they go to the supermarket, there's people in perfume that they're allergic to. And they have asthma attacks. Maybe that's why they're wearing the mask. So if I go and just I see someone with a mask, I answer the matter. I go, because the person's wearing a mask, they're a caring, quote unquote. I will be a fool. They'll be foolish. See? The Bible says a fool answers the matter before hearing it. Answer it, possibly. Uh, I am uh, shadow ban as normal. I gotta refresh the page. Be right back. And I'm back. Okay. The reason I refreshed it was typically after you go live, there's like a view count that lets you know how many viewers you have, if any. Since I'm shadow banned, because I am new in the matrix, not faking it like Andrew Tate. I'm the real deal, new in the matrix. Uh, the matrix system works to censor me and hide me from people because they're afraid of me, afraid of what I know. And afraid of what I can show these people. Like Neo said in the Matrix movie, he walks into a phone booth, picks up a phone, and he says, that This is one of the scenes in the Matrix series. I know you're afraid, afraid of me, afraid of what I'm going to show these people. And then, like Superman, so I'm not doing that, obviously, but like Superman, he walks out after they go, like flies into there. Okay. Um, now, I'm not doing that, obviously. Okay. But the first part of it, I, I do know that the system is afraid. They were, they're concerned. Maybe not afraid, like, oh, oh, shaking, but the system, the people run the system, the matrix architects, the, the masons, the people, the secret society people, the groups of people that control the world from behind the scenes, they are concerned about people like me. So we have a guy here, he can, de he can see the truth in this matrix system. That, okay. And he's seeing things. That most people are asleep to the people that the matrix has the mind he can see things he can decode movies media reports he can see the truth in the system he's got it figured out he's on our case okay and he can tell people things we don't want them to know he can see the truth in this world and he can show other people it's true it's not exaggerating it is true that is why they're concerned about me i know things i can see things that they do not want the masses, like the, the general public. They don't want anybody to know it. So that's part of why I get the, what's called the shadow banning on YouTube. Um, possibly on Facebook too, we'll see. Okay. I'm going to wait a while until I speak on that. I, I, I put it like this. I wouldn't be surprised if I get like get a shadow ban on Facebook as well. On YouTube, I know I do. Uh, meaning, if I go live, they're hiding my license from people. So somebody else is not shadow up and being live. There's going to be some people that discover this live stream. This guy's live right now. It's going to pop up in the feed. And they might click it. Uh, I get the shadow banner, which means I'm live and they don't have it pop up when people are buzzing YouTube. This guy's live right now. Okay. They're hiding my content from people. They're hiding my channel. They're hiding my videos and my live streams. And uh, I don't let that demoralize me. I feel like it's pointless what I'm doing. There are ways. If if there's a will, there's a way, is the saying. Okay. If you really want to get the word out about things, the important truth that people need into this world, and you're serving your creator, God. I'm a soldier of God. That different your holiness as a good soldier of Christ. I'm a soldier of Christ. I'm in God's army. And it, because I am, I'm fighting for him in the way that I ought to. It doesn't mean you're supposed to be out fighting physical with people. It means you're doing more, okay? Truth versus lies. Good versus evil. Lies of Satan, the satanic system. And you're attacking that. Hey, the Satanists are lying to you about this. Here's the truth. There's people lying to you about how to become a Christian, which leads to people going to hell. There's people out here, like Joel Osteen, going, you get saved by a prayer. That's of Satan. Joel Osteen telling people that this is how you get saved. A prayer you pray a prayer that's that's satan he's fighting for satan when he does that because satan is like yes i want people to end up in the lake of fire i don't want them to get saved 
And these guys are here telling people, here's how you get saved. So somebody's like, you know what, I might want to get saved. Yeah, here's how you do it and give a fake way. See, that's how saved them. And if I'm out here going, Joel Austin is a liar. Here's the real way to get saved. And I'm teaching the truth of how to really get saved. Satan doesn't like that. God is for that. So that's this is one of the ways that you fight as a Christian. Okay, the Christian's warfare. It's not like, let's get uh, tanks together and occupy Wall Street or something like this. That's not how you fight. Okay, it's truth versus lies. And part of that is being aggressive, attacking lies and liars. People who speak for Satan, mouthpiece for Satan. This is how you get saved. No, it's not. This guy's wrong. Here's how to really get saved. And also, the Satanists have set up this world system, made this world system, to where you and your family is being poisoned by what you eat, or what, what is in the air, what is in uh, chemicals, household chemicals, all these other things. And here's how to protect yourself. First, I'm warning people, most people are not thinking about this, that when they take a shower, they poison themselves, possibly, by what they use to clean themselves in the shower. They're not even thinking about that. But this is a way that the Satanists are attacking people. They condition people to use conditioner and shampoo that has these chemical ingredients in it. That is hurting the health, I believe. And I'm like, hey, this is dangerous for you. It's a natural alternative. This is what I do. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing something important. I don't have, I, I, I'm a target individual and I don't like talking about it all the time. But it's impossible for you to miss that if you watch my live streams. The topic's going to come up. I'm what's called a target individual. Okay. It means that this is a conspiracy working to mess with my life, harass me, inspire me, and do all kinds of stuff. They're not worse than that. But they try to take me out, actually. Stage acts and attempts and poisoning, things like this. But by the grace of God, here stand I. But by the grace of God, here I stand. Um, my foot had night slid. Okay. The Lord upheld me, sustained me. Um, he's carried me through extreme hardship and danger. Um, it's not easy being involved in this. God can't use if you're a weak man. He couldn't use this guy, Bill, that I've been going back and forth on YouTube, claims to be a Christian. He's too weak and soft. Somebody makes fun of what he looks like. He's, he's so weak that he hides away and doesn't show his face anymore for two weeks. Okay, Satan can't use him. God can't use a man like that in his army. God, if you're going to be in a war, you have to be a strong man. You have to be able to take punches. Okay, you have to be able to keep being under attack and not giving up, not folding, not crumbling under pressure. You must be strong. That's why you have the verse, thou therefore endure hardness. That's what people in common language will say, hardship. Okay, difficult, difficulty, pain, difficult psychological pain, problems in life, going through hard times, okay, being under attack. Yea, all that live godless should suffer persecution, the Bible says. So what is godly? Doing God's will. We will have all men to be saved. It's not, oh, I'm pious. The old we godly. Oh, I'm pious. I don't never cast or make a mistake. I'm a perfectly clean person. You don't have to be like that to, to get persecution. Yeah, all that live godly shall suffer persecution. You just have to check some boxes of godly living to be on Satan's radar. You have to be out here attacking things. That's enough. Meaning Satan's agenda is to keep people ignorant to certain things and have them believe other things. And if you're out here attacking those things, that can be enough. Like you check that box of godly living, which part of that is attacking lies, heresy, sharing the true doctrine to the world. You're on Satan's radar. It's not that, oh, but you have to be perfect and so oh, so holy and pious to be to be a, on Satan's radar against the persecution. No, you just have to be doing things that Satan doesn't like being done. Okay. What is Paul of Godliness sharing the gospel? Who will have all men to be saved? One thing, two, verse four, and I quote my memory. Who will have all men to be saved and come unto knowledge of the truth? So God's will is like, hey, Christians, Part of living a godly life, being one of my children, here's what I like you to do. Be out here getting people saved, soul winning. I quote another verse by heart that came to mind. Holy Spirit put that in my mind, I believe. This happens all the time. And that's biblical that the Holy Spirit can do that. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is what? Wise, the Bible says. So part of godly living is not a feeling. It's part of how you live your life, what you're doing, okay? You're sharing the gospel. That's attacking Satan's agenda of keeping people lost. If you have a YouTube channel out here giving the gospel to people, Satan goes, this guy is out here. This is a liability. People hear what this guy got to say. They're liable from his perspective. 
This is a risk from his perspective, not a chance, a risk that they might get saved. Okay. Now you're on Satan's radar. And if you're going to be doing things that Satan doesn't like, there will be persecution. You're doing godly activities. Okay. It's not about you have to be a goody to shoot perfect Christian for you to get persecution. No, you're checking different boxes. You're doing this God activity, sharing the gospel continually in this world. You are here giving the gospel. Satan is like, no, I don't want anybody to get saved. God's will and Satan's will are direct, diametrically opposed. So Satan is always the exact opposite of God in his agenda and his will. God wants all men to be saved. 1 Tim 2 verse 4. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 shows you that. Satan's agenda is diametrically opposed. His will is for all men to not be saved. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard for people to believe. That Satan will be like, I don't want people to become Christians and go to heaven. I want them in hell. That is Satan's will. It's the exact opposite of God's will. Satan will, who will have all men to be lost and go to the lake of fire where he's gone. And he's doomed. Satan can't get saved. The demons that fell, the angels, the fallen angels that serve Satan, like there's two sides of the spiritual uh two sides on the spiritual realm god and his angels satan and his fallen angels and uh they, there's no chance for them to get saved they're going to hell they no, they're going to the lake of fire more precisely and he wants to get other people with him it's like that uh scene in the lord of the rings where gandalf the white is fighting against balrog the demon in Helm's Deep, not Helm's Deep, Moria, what, what is it called? It's like that they're in a, in a underground cave complex type situation. And then uh, he's having a showdown with this dragon, old serpent dragon. Okay, that's Satan in the Bible. That old dragon, the serpent. Okay, it's called dragon. And he gets cast off and starts falling down towards this lake of fire, this liquid fire at the bottom, and he's falling. And he's trying to drag this other guy with him down to the lake of fire that he's going to. See, I'm a decoder. You might be a Christian, you never thought about this. You watched the movie, you never thought about it. But that is symbolically talking about this, teaching this doctor truth of Satan's attitude. That's that's encoded into that scene. Okay. How Satan is a defeated foe, see? So the chronological order of the scene, he was defeated. Okay, he got knocked down and he's falling down to the lake of fire. Falling, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? I think they might word, use the word Lucifer in that verse. How art thou cut down to the ground that didst weaken the nations? So Satan fell, okay, literally. He was up here in heaven. He got defeated by Michael, the archangel, God's angels, and he fell down from heaven like the demon, the serpent in the Lord of the Rings scene. He was defeated by somebody who's a symbol of somebody working for the light, what's good, okay? Uh, Gandalf the White, okay? And he gets defeated, cast down, and he's falling down towards this, what is at the bottom of this? Like, it's a bridge shoulder. After Gandalf defeats him, he falls down, and he's falling from up here towards this lake of fire, a, a liquid fire at the bottom, okay? Lake of fire. So that's Satan's fate. He's been cast down. And he is on his way right now to Lake of Fire. He's not there yet. He hasn't been seen, like he hasn't been cast in there yet. But as he's on his way over there, and it's nothing, he, he can't get saved. Okay. Christ didn't die for the sins of uh, Satan and his fallen angels. He, he's not trying to restore them. It's like it's too late for them. So he's, he's going to end up there. He's on his way right now. As a person is falling right now, they're falling towards something. And he tries to drag down Gandalf with him. That would represent a Christian or any human being who's not saved right now. More precisely, it would be that. that okay, he's symbolizing many things, Gandalf. It could be that, first of all, he's symbolizing Michael of Angel when he kicked Satan's ass in heaven and he started falling. And he's also symbolizing when Satan tries to catch him with his whip and pull him down with him to the uh, lake of fire. He will be symbolizing a lost person, Gandalf. Like a, a person who's not a Christian yet. And saying it's like i'm going to the lake of fire i want this guy to also go to the lake of fire with me i don't want this guy to get saved so satan's agenda and god's agenda are diametrically opposed okay god wants everybody to get saved before they die satan wants everybody to die lost so they go to the lake of fire where he's going okay uh i'm gonna check the comments
this is my lovely wife to be sometimes i said girlfriend but i'm, I'm keeping myself from saying that i prefer to say my wife to be god willing that would be the doctor correct way to put it first of all god says boast not thyself of tomorrow for i know it's not what tomorrow will bring forth and he talks about people who are like next year i'm going to be going to this and that city uh, and he's like all such boasting is evil i mean like you talk about the future as if it's certain next year i'm going to be a millionaire or whatever you're saying like you're boasting about i can speak with certainty that by what you can do in the future and god reproves you for this and tells like, well really you should be mindful of the fact that your life is a vapor okay if if i wanted to survive yeah you can survive but you can't be out here knowing that two years from now you're going to be alive and you're going to be doing this over here like for so two years from now i'm going to be the head of a company i'm going to be self self-publishing books or whatever you will be boasting about you're going to be doing in the future it should be like god willing i'll be doing this in the future okay it's like the little things um yeah, and we're not married yet. And we're not, since we're not married, we don't live like the world. We live together, not being married and, and fornicating and things like this. So the right, the accurate way to uh, refer to that would be my wife to be God willing. We met each other, we decided to get married. We're not married yet, so yeah. <laughs> That's the right way to refer to it. My wife to be God willing. Good to see you here, welcome. Honey, how is my sound? What's the sound like? If you're still watching on that, I don't know. Um, can you hear me okay? Is my uh, sound quality good? Is it choppy, too loud, too low? And what about the background noise? I have a washing machine going down the room. And it's like, is that, is it irritating? Too irritating. I could check it myself, but I got to tune in my Bluetooth headphones, use my phone and go check my live stream. It's going to be like three, four, five minutes. Okay. I don't have my Bluetooth phones, headphones uh, charged yet. Yeah. So a short like vlog. I woke up today. Yesterday, I fasted all day. I had a live stream on my, on my uh, day yesterday. Pulled an extended fast. I went downtown, uh, hauled a lot of stuff, bought things, bought them home. And then after I came home, I kept the live stream going. I think that we fell asleep. She was watching. And then she stopped writing. And then she must have fallen asleep yesterday night. Um, and then I carried on the live stream myself. Meaning, even though nobody was writing in the chat, I was just like this monologue talking. Then I ended it. I went to bed later on. I woke up today. And I got my top formula uh, supplement delivery. I, first thing in the morning, I mix, mixed up 20 grams of vitamin C, 20,000 milligrams, 5, 10, 15, 20, 4 teaspoons of ascorbic acid, uh, 2 teaspoons of sodium bicarb. I put in a teaspoon of uh, creatine in there. Looks like I'm doing a commercial. Nobody's paying me. Look at Paranol. Skip. This is uh, L glutamine. Uh, a teaspoon of L-glutamine, teaspoon of, L of creatine, uh, and I've been using it as a concentrate. I, mean, I didn't drink it all at one go. I, I drank a little bit, filled it up with water, and put it in the bottle. Drink a little bit more, fill it up with water, a little bit more, fill it up with water. So I make like a concentrate vitamin C water. Uh, and then I unpacked some of the supplements. I took my post wake up grand dose of supplements, meaning my way is to take a big dose of supplements after waking up within three hours uh, like take this that this that and the other thing and then like that in, in after waking up and then another big dose after i have my fast break in me my own med meal this is another like big dose and then in between those like after waking up before going to bed and at, right after eating there will be smaller amounts of doses taken throughout the day a B complex, for example, I take one after waking up. I'm gonna take one in the middle of these two, and then one with that big meal later on. I'm gonna take niacinamide. Oh, so some of them are spread out. Yeah. I'll show you some of the supplements I got actually.
and there's some that I didn't take so I'm going to take. I'm going to have to do a disclaimer now. Nothing I've said in this live stream is to be taken as medical advice or information or recommendations. If you have a mental physical health problem, consult the licensed physician. And the types and amounts of supplements that you see me take and talk about taking are not recommended amounts. I'm just showing you what I do. Okay. This is a vlog. Here's what I'm doing today. Taking this much of this vitamin. Okay. So this is a uh, vitamin that I have taken. This is I didn't eat. I'm fasting. I buffered the first dose of uh, supplements with fat. If I would take, for example, 1500 milligrams niacinamide right after waking up, just with liquid, first thing in the morning, and I'm fasting all day, I'm not going to eat until in the afternoon. Uh, it might make me nauseous, like I'm getting too much of this vitamin on an empty stomach. So what I figured out, I can take a big, big doses of supplements, as big as I want to and need, in the morning without eating first, by taking omega-3 capsules, they have fat in them. Vitamin E capsules also have fat in them. Vitamin D soft gels have fat in them. So I take that first. Different supplements containing fat, put them in my stomach. So when I take these bigger amounts of supplements like the niacinamide, turkey, and other things, it's buffering. It's landing on fat that slows down the uptake, the absorption. It aids the absorption, meaning I absorb more because there's some fat in there or some of these supplements I'm taking. And it also slows down how fast they absorb by my body. And it's a little bit more of a time release effect too. So that's something that I figured out how to make it all supplements and take a huge dose of it in the morning without eating first. And it's not breaking ketosis to take omega-3 fish oil. It's not like three grams of carb, carbs, or something like that. At most, it would be like not even getting close to one gram of the fat containing supplements that I take. I would assume I haven't calculated precisely, but some people put a uh, coconut oil in the coffee to boil the keto and fasting or butter. Okay. And there's less fat in my supplements than in that. And it's coconut oil uh, in some of the vitamin E in, uh, but also, yeah, so I'm going to take some, uh, I'm going to take one of these. I've already taken my grand post workout of supplements. I forgot one of the supplements. I didn't take the niacinamide yet. So that's what I remember now, which I'm taking some more omega threes. I'm going to take three of them actually. And I'm going to take niacinamide. Vitamin B3. Now we're going to put the ball on. I'm going to check this. I think it's in this box. Yes. So, I'm going to take uh, 1,500 milligrams of niacinamides. There will be three of these. 500 times three. There's 500 milligrams of niacinamide, vitamin B3 in each capsule. And I'm gonna take three of those. So starting out, there was 20 grams of vitamin C in here, four teaspoons of uh, ascorbic acid, 20 grams of vitamin C. Then I'd be way too much for somebody else, but I have a high need of vitamin C, hydro, and I'm using it as a concentrate, as you can see me do. I drank down to about here where my finger is, and then I top it up with more filtered water, and drink a little bit more, and then top it up. So that's how I uh, make those vitamin C typically. 
I don't like make a five gram glass. I get a small glass and then mix up five grams and drink it. And then I will like to do that again. It's better to uh, put in 20 grams and then use it as a concentrate. You don't have to keep opening, keep mixing, keep mixing. It's like you mix it once and then you just got to pour up more water. I'm over, over here <coughs> under my uh, stove air outlet, like the fan that pulls air. And I'm smoking a cigar, but I have a few puffs of that. Yeah, so in this live stream, don't expect me to be on camera talking all the time. It's not high production, it's not professional podcasting, professional meaning making money off of doing it. It's not. the typical type of YouTube content. I'm not saying mine is worse. It's real, raw, authentic, and natural. And you get the truth here. That you don't get from listening to the influencers. You're, you're one of the male influencers on YouTube. They do have the presentation and the production and the visual aspect, audio aspect, and the cutting and the editing. They have that down. But they don't give you the truth about how to live longer, look better, feel better protect yourself from the satanic onslaught around there in this world, being attacked by toxins every day, and not knowing how to protect yourself right now. You're not being taught these things, how to protect yourself from these attacks that are on them. And all these other things I share, like the gospel, the truth about the Bible, your soul. You're not getting that from the one of the other friends. See? But I'm just letting you know what you can expect. If you watch my life, you know, it's not impossible in the future, it can be different. But right now, how I do things is uh, I decide to click live. I go to stream or I click go live. And then uh, I live on my YouTube channel. And I don't hold myself. I got to stay on camera, talk all the time. No, it's, uh, I'm go live, real raw, and natural. I live on my YouTube channel. Sometimes I'm on camera, talk. Sometimes I got to take a break, go to the bathroom, make a cup of coffee, empty my washing machine, whatever. So this is why it's, it's good that uh, you can do timestamps. So let's say I stay live here for three hours and then part of this live stream, it's, uh, it's like 15 minutes. I turn off my camera, my sound, and I'm doing something. And then I come back, I can put in timestamps, especially when I had the marathon live streams are like seven hours long. And somebody sees them, I can't watch the whole live stream for seven hours. If I put in the timestamps, it's like three hours in, I made a good point, some important point. I talked about something relevant put in a timestamp, three hours, 12 seconds, talk about this. And then if people check the uh, live stream, check the description, they can see, oh, he's talking about this at this point of live stream, click that, I wanna hear that. And it jumps to that part. Uh, so that, that's, uh, that's about as much editing I do right now. It's uh, editing text edits and thumbnail edits. That's how far it goes to editing with my content. Editing the thumbnail after I'm done. I'm picking a thumbnail for my videos and changing the text, like sometimes changing the title, changing words in the description, adding, removing uh, hashtags, things like this, timestamps.
That's the machine is not running. The washing machine is running right now. I don't know how loud it is. If you can hear it or not, but I have a washing machine in operation right now in the bathroom, pretty close to where the laptop is. And right in front of you, when the camera is pointing, you see that blue, white and blue thing I have on the wall to protect the wall when I was doing workouts. I still have it up. Meaning I was uh, doing a nice more short work and I hang a bottle from that wall PC, that string, and I was hitting it with rubber table knives. And it swing around, and if it's gonna hit the wall, it might damage the wall. So I hang that up there to protect the wall. It also reduces like uh, echoing the sound they can hear. If the more empty a room is, the more uh, loud noises will be. Meaning, if you have a certain noise produced inside of a room, if it's an empty room, it will be louder. The more empty it is, the louder it will be. It's not that the decibel of the sound produced changes, but it, it it's louder for you. It sounds louder. Uh, yeah, but right below that, I have a drying rack, and I have some clothes hanging on there. So once the washing machine is done, or before it, I'm going to take those off and put them in on. I don't want these plastic boxes that I have that I put clothes in. Or in a, I have a see-through plastic bag, like a big one. Sometimes I store clothes in there before sorting them into boxes. I don't use a drawer, I use these uh, plastic boxes, big plastic boxes with a lid on them for storing clothes. And I sort it up sometimes. So I have my pants in one box, shirts in another box, uh, socks and underwear in another box, so on and so forth. There's some boxes I've uh, used for other things store cleaning supplies and things in. And if I want to use them for storing clean clothes, I would have to wash them out first. So I might have to uh, put the clothes temporarily in a big plastic bag. And I have these uh, transparent plastic bags, like a big black garbage bag, only the transparent see-through. So if I put stuff in, I can see from the outside, oh yeah, that's the, that's the bag that has the clothes in it. All righty. Sound okay. Thanks for letting me know. I will gird up my loins. My pants have slid down a little bit. Gird up thy, this is a Bible verse. Gird up thy loins. Shoot thyself a man. Prepare to give an answer. That's from Job. Okay. Uh, since I know the Bible well enough, I'm not banging. Okay, you should know the Bible if you're a Christian. Since I know the Bible well enough, when I, in my daily life, there'll be Bible verses triggered, understand? The remembrance of a Bible verse, the verse will resound in my temple, or my or the Holy Ghost, my body. Meaning I see salt, and there's a Bible verse that pops into my head. Let your, gra let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, and stuff like this. Or if I see a, a can of honey in the supermarket, thine words are sweeter than honey in the honeycomb, stuff like this. There's verses in here, and as I'm going around my, my life, daily activities, there will be things that I see that trigger the remembrance, remembrance of Bible verses. So I'm, I'm, I always think I gotta pull up my pants, okay? <laughs> it's hard to slide down, okay? And it's like, gird up thy loins, there's a Bible verse. Gird up thy loins, which is what, that, that is the King James Bible way of saying that. You know, when you pull up your pants, and tighten your belt, gird up thy loins would be what that is. Gird up thy loins, shoot yourself a man, prepare to give an answer. It's the Bible verse, the full Bible verse that begins with gird up thy loins. There's a beginning, the beginning of the Bible verse is gird up thy loins. 
Those would be the equivalent if you have pants, you pull them up and you tighten the belt. You start to slide down. A man has joy of the answer of his mouth. It looks like this. That's not the person came to mind after saying that. I've got to search for that accent because it was a vague memory. I Meaning I'm second guessing myself on uh, how accurately the quote was. Let's go to Bible Gateway. And I have it preset to. King James Bible, authorized King James Version. Here, it was Proverbs 15.23. So what I typed in the search box of Bible Gateway trying to find the verse that I was thinking about is joy of the answer of his mouth. And I clicked enter search and Proverbs 15.23 popped up. And the actual verse is a man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season. How good is it? So that was the full verse. I really don't like fluorescent lights. Uh, I found these glasses that I love. I would say love. Okay. Is it well? Like is a better word. I like these. They have uh, these things up here. So not only do they keep light from going into your eyes from the front, they create a more or less tight fit against your forehead. So light, if you have a ceiling light, it keeps the ceiling light from going straight into your eyes. And they do have a, a slit here to let out air so they won't uh, fog up. But it's not going to, uh, because of how it's placed, if you have a ceiling light, it's, it's pretty hard for light to get like a straight line of light into your eyes. It's just a standoff distance is here. I really like these lights and they have different ones. I bought different ones. They have yellow ones, orange yellow lenses, same model, same design. And uh, how I find these, I search for uh, night driving glasses on Amazon or Wish. I bought some on Wish.com. And if you search for a night driving glasses, you find these. Uh, and they have different ones. They have tea colored lenses. They have uh, yellow, orangey tint glasses. And they're made to conserve your night vision if you're driving a car. So you can, normal sunglasses, you would wear them in the car uh, at night. It will make it hard to see the roll. Okay. So the night driving glasses are designed to reduce the amount of blinding effect of oncoming traffic as you're driving while retaining your night vision and i feel like the orange uh tint ones i feel like i actually see better in the dark with them than without them low light conditions i feel like i see better in the dark uh, environments wearing the glasses than not uh, while reducing how annoying the decreasing the amount of annoying effect lights have uh, lights certain types of lights have fluorescent and other like the lights. I'm slightly dehydrated. I'm gonna keep drinking vitamin C water, pushing for a C flush. I'm gonna have a C flush today, vitamin C detox flush. And then I'm gonna start working to uh, rehydrate. It's going to the spin cycle now, which is the most noisy, irritating part of it. If I have these foam earplugs, these are not my favorite earplugs. My favorite are kill noise. I found an earplug called Kill Noise, and I like those more. These are classical, normal, typical, common foam earplugs. I don't like them as much as the Kill Noise ones. The Kill Noise ones, and I can't find them where I used to buy them anymore. 
we're sure I don't have that right now. I'm going to look and see if I can find it somewhere else. But they are uh, made from some kind of soft plastic, not hard plastic, which hurts for the years, but some kind of soft plastic, possibly hard silicone. And they are concentric circles, like rings. Like there's a ring, kind of like a coin, okay? It's like a coin made from plastic, and the one is small, and then the one behind it is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And you can put them in your ear, and they don't make you as like deaf as what I am now. I mean, if somebody's in the room here talking to me, the normal conversation one, I wouldn't. It would be hard for me to hear what they're saying because they're like blocking so much noise. These ones, uh, the killer ones, they kind of take the edge off and noise and start annoying. While not removing, not reducing the uh, decibel so much that you can't hear what somebody's saying. So I like those. It's like the best of two worlds. I can wear them. If I'm outside and I need to talk to somebody, I can, if I, somebody, I want to make a phone call, I don't have to take the earplugs out. I can still hear them. If somebody's in the room I'm talking to, I can hear them. If I'm on a video call, I can hear the person I'm talking to. And uh, yeah, so you, you're able to hold a conversation with somebody and, and hear what's going on without. What they do is they reduce the volume a little bit. So they kind of take the edge off of annoying noises. They reduce the volume. So if something is very loud, it makes it less loud, but not so much less loud that you can't hear what somebody's saying if, if they're in the room with you having a conversation or something like this. So I like the kill more ones, kill noise. Maybe I can find a competitor, not a company. I have a Google search, kill noise, and they look for them. Can't find them. Maybe I can find a, another brand that sells the same type of product. Time for a chiropractic adjustment. We got two pops there, that's good. So I see we was in here first on Facebook and then you switched to watching on YouTube. I don't know if you're still there or not. We uploaded a vlog video the other day. I used my channel to promote it. She uploaded a vlog video to a YouTube channel and I co-manage it. It's her channel, but I, I uh, it's a joint channel, meaning I, I I can log into it too and help her out with things. If she uploads a video, she wants to have a English uh, title. I help her to uh, have good grammar, better grammar, and make some corrections to uh, things. And she uploaded a video a vlog showing her family's farm. They have a farm and they grow vegetables. And she recorded a video, a vlog of uh, showing her family's farm, the day at the farm. They went there, took care of the plants, uh, harvesting things that they have grown on the farm, taking care of the plants. The things you have to do, you can't just put stuff in the ground, seed it, and then leave it alone and expect a good harvest. It requires some attention. And uh, she recorded a vlog, filming herself going to the farm, being at the farm. And I thought it was interesting. We watched it together yesterday, the premiere. We premiered on the Mike and Me YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description, actually. Let's go fetch it. Here. This is the link to our video. I just put in the chat there. Yeah, so you can see here, this is the uh, video in question, visiting forest farm.
and it's shown in the beginning showing them traveling to the phone what the nature looks like around the phone and I'm watching it at the lowest quality so it's the, the source footage the original footage is not this grainy okay I use mobile data so I buy these mobile data packs 40 gigabytes to my phone and then I use the hotspot feature to send the internet to my laptop which means uh, I do things to conserve the amount of mobile that I'm using. I'm going to have to spend a lot of money buying the mobile data packs since I use my computer every day and I'm live streaming and doing all these other things. But here's the uh, video in question. This is showing their way to the farm and then later on showing them at the farm and what they're doing there. Showing the plants here. And the link to this video, if you want to watch it, is in the description. And it's a comment that I have on screen there. I put a comment in the chat. And that comment is a link that takes you to the video that I just showed you. If you want to watch it. There you go. And it sounds like the washing machine is finished now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on an extra spin cycle. That's something that I do. When I get finished, I wash uh, I turn on a program 60 degrees. Extra wash. There's a button you can click. It, it washes. It's like a plus washing. So at the end of the uh, cycle, it, it rinses out the clothes more. And then uh, after it's done, it does the spin cycle. And then I like to uh, run an extra spin cycle, 10 minute spin cycle. So it, it does another spin cycle, dries the clothes out more. So when I uh, hang dry my clothes, they dry quicker. Like when in three, four hours, they're going to be ready to wear. Check on the call, see if the machine is finished. Sounds like it. There's four minutes left. <coughs> and it starts beeping after it's finished.
got to move the laptop over here. a candle on the hill which increases the draft since hot air rises this doesn't have a fan inside of it my old apartment my previous apartment had a fan an extractor fan that pulls air and it's more powerful there's more suction I mean, I can smoke here and the smoke will be pulled in under it uh, this is natural draft okay it's just a hole that goes to the top of this building so I like to do this this uh, T light as they call it, and I place this light here. Then, since heat rises, it will increase the draft and make uh, more air. It will increase the draft, not insignificantly. It makes a difference, not, not an extreme difference. It's not going to pull the cigar out of my hand, but it's, uh, it makes a difference. Here's my church of cigar I bought it yesterday. Now I broke off a piece of it, which I'm gonna use to crumble into my um, tobacco, rolling tobacco. Make my own custom tobacco blend. I like a piece of course. Yeah, so I've had great success and triumph. I'm living a victorious life. Uh, who is he that overcome the world, but he that believed that Jesus is the Son of God? I'm more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Meaning, the system has been hitting me hard. And a lot of people going through this thing that I've been going through called I'm a gangster, I believe they defeated lives. They're miserable, they're unhappy, they're sick. They're something like oh, miserable, depressed. I'm not making fun of them. But these people should be listening to me, follow my path to success, take my advice. Okay, now the system works hard to keep talking to you on my channel. But uh, I'm living a triumphant life. That's the truth. I don't go around, oh, I'm miserable, I'm poor, I hate my life. I need to find a way to. And it's like, I'm, day to day, I'm happy. I have joy in my life, meaning, passion. I live a passionate life. I'm serving a great purpose. I'm doing significant things. Um, do I have bad days and bad weeks? Yeah, <laughs> I do. Well, I'm not as happy as normal, but baseline on a monthly basis, the last year, it's like I've been having joy, laughter, the opposite of being depressed. Uh, enjoy myself, working to improve, being energetic, strong, fit, healthy, being active, productive. And I don't go around like, be done, I'm so miserable. I'm, I want to escape this life. I'm miserable. I don't have, a, I have a disability because of my autism. Okay, and ADHD. But I have, I wish I could have a job. I don't have a job. I'm just, uh, no, I'm doing something more important. Okay. I'm having so I'm doing more important things. If I would like cure my autism and everything, uh, I, I would uh, the government would stop talking me with gang stalking, as it's called, and I would uh, be able to hold a job. What I'm doing right now is more important than fulfilling of a job, more important, more fulfilling than a commercial job I'm getting paid for. I'm doing getting up in the day today, I'm going to teach people how to cure allergies. There's people out there, their life is destroyed because they have allergies. Like my girlfriend here, my wife to be more precise, we wonderful. She had allergies that were so bad that she had to stop working. That's life altering disease. 
that kept her from being able to work with what she's doing to support herself financially, making handmade crochet items and selling them online to people. She had to stop doing that because her allergies are so bad. She goes to the system doctors like the allopathic medicine white colds with a stethoscope around the neck. They can't cure her. Okay, she felt she take gave some medicines, drugs, uh, big pharma drugs. They made her feel a little bit better for a few days, she says. A little bit, a little, not a lot, a little bit better for a few days. Then they stop working, she says. And when I start practicing God's medicine on her, she gets cured. The main difference in the med medicine that I practice and the medicine that the uh, system practices is my patients get well. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I had a silly tool in here. I'm actually going to use uh, their comment as a talking point. Okay, because it fits. Uh, yes, Mike, talking to all your viewers and leaving the person can get blocked. Yes, Mike, talking to all your viewers and living off of welfare is much more important than being a productive member of society. I'm more productive. I'm a more productive. I'm a more productive member of society than you other people that are living a nine to five job existence. Okay. More productive. I do more good in this world, more important things than the average person. Meaning, uh, this woman here, we wonderful, that her life was altered by disease. And she had to stop working and i'm able to cure her and she can stop working again I mean, her life was worse because her allergies this health problem and uh she couldn't work anymore and she goes to the doctors the system doctors and they can't help her she still can't work and i start working to heal her and i heal her okay which means just as a doctor is a productive member of society doing good by curing people. People say that's important. It's making people's health better in society. See? And I'm being more effective, better at, than him at that. Meaning the doctors she went to, the normal doctors, they got paid nine to five job to cure patients, being productive members of society. They didn't have the productivity of being able to do the job of curing a patient. We went to the system hospital and the doctors couldn't fix allergies. I start working to a culture using God's medicine. And now she's a productive member. She's productive, more productive because I was productive in healing her. Okay. So uh, you have a weak argument that I just defeated and triumphed over you. Okay. Meaning you're fighting with lies as all my enemies do. Okay. I'm a man of truth. And the people that the system, matrix agent, your matrix agent, they made the system agents that can send to my channel to try to run interference on my truth sharing info war live streams. Uh, they will always attack with lies. Okay. Inversions, twist the truth, bend the truth. But the truth is, I'm a more productive person doing more important things in my day to day life than if I would have a job scanning items at the grocery store or being a janitor sweeping floors, or being a car mechanic, or whatever I would be. I'm being more productive than system doctors. I've healed more people, okay? I've healed three people health problems, okay? That's more important, okay? That's more important. What's more important? I'm sweeping a floor. Oh, this is a clean floor here because the janitor was a productive member of society. I like to enjoy the floor. Or my life is ruined. I can't work anymore. I can't support myself financially because my allergies are so bad. I can't, I can't work with this thing I'm doing to make money. Okay, being an entrepreneur, we here, and then I show up in the life, start working, be productive, in practicing God's medicine, being a Christian, and God has revealed to me His medicine, and I start working to practice God's medicine on this person, and they've been up giving the testimony. You know, in court, that counts as evidence. Somebody giving the testimony. I saw the guy running away from the crime scene or something like this. Okay. She's giving her testimony that Mike cured my allergies. And she's been up on my live stream saying that. And first she went to the system. Like the normal doctors with the white coats, MD degrees, practicing the allopathic medicine. I got allergies, can't work anymore. They're really bad. 
and they give her administer their medicine, quote unquote, and tahisumin pills, I think. And she reports that, well, when they did that, I felt a little bit better. Not a lot, a little better, still too much allergies to be able to work. A little bit better for a few days. Then they stop working. Like the thrill is gone, the effect wore off. Now, when I show up in a life, being a Christian, that have had allergies myself, extremely serious allergies, that I've cut at least in 50% how bad they are. They say, like, oh, I know how to, to fix this. God has taught me his medicine. So I pray to God being a Christian with these health problems, extreme allergies that were hurting my life bad. They were so bad, it was really interfering with day-to-day -day life. And I pray to God for healing, and God answers my prayers by going, sending truth into my life. Here's how to improve your allergies, Mike. Okay. And now I know this. And this is medicine flows from God, true medicine, like true sciences of God. Okay. And points to God. And I start working to, uh, to, to heal me, being a doctor. And now she reports that my cure my allergies. And then specifying they're 99% gone. Not like 5% improvement like the big pharma dogs. No, 99% gone. And she's back to working again. If she wants to work with you, she can. She has a slight sensitivity. I mean, if she will have the yarn close to the face of Rob Brown, maybe it will be a little bit irritating. But she knows what to do. If she experiences allergy symptoms returning, more vitamin C. Okay. So I do believe that I'm a more productive person in this world, doing more important good in this world than if I would be working downtown, sweeping the floor at the supermarket. Okay. But people are like, well, the floor is cleaner. That's good. Versus, I couldn't work anymore. I had to stop working because my health was so bad. The allergies. Mike comes into my life, starts working, being productive in practicing medicine on me. And I'm here to tell you, my allergies are 99% cured and I can work again. I think that's more meaningful being a, that's more productive. That's more meaningful, more important. Okay. And nobody paid me for that. See, well, nobody paid me for that. And that's the same thing that I'm doing on my YouTube channel. The same medicine that I taught to we and practice on her is the same medicine that I teach people about freely in my live streams. Okay. So I, I made a good case and destroyed you there. Destroyed your filthy, wicked, satanic, evil, lying tongue and the output thereof. Okay. I've proven it. That's more important. Somebody's out here changing people's life. People that can't work anymore because they're health problems. This guy shows up, starts working medicine, and they can become a productive member now again. They can stop working again after I worked on teaching them God's medicine, working with them. Uh, I have more success stories. My sister, my mother, other people that I've been working on offline, practicing God's medicine. And my mother, uh, her health has improved. She's a diabetic. And she reports her health has improved. And that's confirmed by the system doctors. Like a diabetic goes for yearly checkups with the doctor, at least yearly. They do long-term long blood sugar tests. They do this and that test to see how their health is doing. And since I started practicing God's medicine on her, healing her, uh, the doctors themselves, the system doctors go, whoa, your tests have never come back this good before. Your di diabetes has improved. Like your health has improved. The last two years in a row, on a row, since I started practicing God's medicine on her, the doctors have confirmed themselves. They told my mother, it's like, well, your test has never come back this good before. I mean, the test, how good is your health as a diabetic? Okay. And that, she's been going every year doing this, working with a big pharma doc. And uh, they're checking like checkups. How is your health doing? And she's never had this like peak, like, whoa, suddenly your health has improved according to the test. After I, then like two years in a row now, after I came into life, started practicing, what came into I've been in her life is my mother. After I started practicing this medicine on her, that I practiced on we in here with success, played a success in the dogs in the system. Same thing there. My mom goes in, I get her on the vitamins, stop working, practicing God's medicine. That's the dog to be very productive in that. Okay. With good patients' compliance. You need to take this much, write prescriptions of God's medicine, take this much of this, one, this much of this, take this much of this every day this often and she start working with her and uh, the next time after that happened she goes for her yellow shackles with the big pharma dogs they go whoa something changed what happened your tests have never come back this good before what test the test testing how good your health is as a diabetic okay 
never come back this good before. Two years in a row, on a roll. And this never happened when she was the big pharma dogs were working her to manage her diabetes. And I'm a big pharma dog. I got a diabetes patient. We're working to manage their health. They didn't get the success of this like, boom, suddenly health improvement. That came from me practicing God's medicine. So I think I made a stone proof case for me being a more important member of society, be more productive, do more important things and contribute more important things to this world than uh, if I would be sweeping the floors, being a janitor or stocking the shelves at the local supermarket. Okay. My sister is not a success story that I worked with and she would get sick. She used to work at a bank and she would get sick and had to call in sick for work now and then she would come down with things and she would get mouth sores. So this is how her health was. She would immediately get sick, maybe once a month, once every two, three months. She would come down with something, get sick, run down. And she would, when she got sick, she would get mouth sores, okay? And be down, run down. After I started working with her, she now reports. She stopped getting sick. She feels better, looks better. And she stopped getting sick. And she claims that I cured her mouth sores. She stopped getting mouth sores, okay? Which means when she was to work at the bank, she would be a more productive member of society because she would need, it would be less rare, more rare, that she would need to call and seek to work and not be able to work at the bank, being a productive member of society because she got sick, came down with something, and she's having to call and seek to work and be away for a week or two weeks, see? And the, this is the, this is the, uh, and uh, on top of that, so that, that is like the undeniable, on top of that, I'm teaching people the gospel. Okay, that's the most important thing. On every time when I go live, the gospel is being preached in this world. Do you understand how important that is? Most likely, since you're posting me, you're Satan and like really evil and wicked. Okay, but every time I go live, the gospel is being preached to this world. Okay, there's a link in the description. Sometimes when I go live, if not, I put in after I'm finished being live, salvation. And a link, if people click it, that's the gospel, God's gospel tract. So I'm sharing the gospel to the world on a daily basis, broadcasting it virtually, publishing the gospel, sharing the truth about how to become a Christian so people don't have to go to hell when they die. Okay, that's a big part of what I'm doing too, my daily live streaming, more or less daily live streaming, sharing the gospel, the truth, the Bible truth your problem and how to solve it okay i'm also um, teaching people how to protect themselves this is satanic world system the society is evil and wicked okay part of society is transgender people um in america part of society is you send your school your kids to school and then Oh, we're going to have today, we're going to have a transgender story hour. We're going to have a transgender person come in here and talk about how awesome it is to be a transgender performer. Okay. And tomorrow we're going to have evolution. We're going to teach uh, creation. We're going to teach how this world, uh, God isn't real. Uh, men are monkeys. And we come from monkeys. And uh, it's not Genesis 1 we're going to read today about how this world came to be. No, it's uh, Darwin, Big Bang, Evolution. We can come from monkeys, okay? Starting adopting children into being less likely to believe the gospel. Okay, that's what the world system does when we hand over your children to this productive society. Okay, I don't want to be productive in that society. I don't want to help building that anthill. Being poor. I don't want to, okay? I don't want to be a good slave. I don't want to be a person who's helping build this satanic evil world system i'm counter to the world system I'm, I'm in the world but not of it see i am in the world but not of it i'm teaching anti-system anti-society truth society teaches you it's okay to be gay okay society teaches you it's okay to watch porn sexual morality society teaches you it's okay to abort babies society teaches children in school that men come from monkeys and the world was created by a big bang society education system has transgender story hour society in sweden has sexual education remember it 
and they taught you if you're homosexual, here's how to practice safe gay sex. Okay, that's part of the sexual education I got in like high school or whatever. Here's how to practice gay sex, RFSU. Okay, if somebody comes from representative from organization in school, and they go to and talk about sex, here's how to put on a condom. It's okay. This is uh, find what you like to do, sexuality, human sexuality. Find what you like. Okay, not get married and have and have a wife. No, find out what you like. What's your kink, kind of? Find out what you like. If you're gay, here's how to practice gay sex safely. It's important if you have sort of a sex to wear a condom. Okay, here's how to put it on. This is this is society. This is society. Okay, um, I don't feel too. Uh, concerned about being a productive member of this society, meaning being a part of that. What I'm doing is anti-system. It's contrary to the system and it's true productivity. And it's more significant and important than if I would be a janitor sweeping the local supermarket floor. What I'm doing today on a day day basis for free, paying actually, I not only don't I get paid early to do what I'm doing, but I actually pay money to do this. $25 $25 a month to stream so I can live stream every day. Uh, 20 US dollars for a 4 gigabyte mobile data pack. So I have internet to live stream with. And I buy two or three euros a month. Uh, at least two, typically. Depending on how often I live stream, I might have to buy two times. If I really conserve it, it will be one time. So I'm actually paying to do this. Okay. So me getting disability money is money well spent. Okay. It's, it's money well spent. Okay. And so also me having disability money. There's less money over to pay for murder of babies. Okay. So some of the money, the tax money in Sweden, is going to me being on disability. It's not welfare. You're a fool. It's not welfare, you idiot. You fool. I'm not on welfare. In Sweden, we have a social insurance system. Contrary to the American system. Similar to Canada, kind of. Okay. So in America, you get more money. You don't have to pay taxes as much. Okay. You get to keep more of your money. Uh, and you have to get health insurance yourself. And if you want to have your grandma in an elderly home, she's going to have to pay for that or have insurance, or you're going to have to pay for that, like this type of stuff. In Sweden, it's uh, you pay taxes, your parents pay taxes when they work. And if something happens to you, you get sick, you don't have to have health insurance. You show up at the hospital and then there's like an administration fee, like $50. No matter if you got two broken legs that need to be fixed, it's still not going to be like a heavy bill. Okay. That's the Swedish system, social insurance. And part of the rights being a Swedish citizen, <laughs> aka citizen, part of the rights that I have being a citizen, if I fall ill, if I end up having autism, ADHD, or I have this problem, what if I get old and I can't take care of myself? I don't have a job or something like this. Then part of the rights as a citizen is you have a right to disability. If you have autism, maybe it's the effects of life like this, you have a right to collect disability payment. Okay. That's part of my rights as a citizen. Okay. My mom is paid taxes. Okay. I paid taxes. I've had, had uh, jobs before. Not long term, but I've had a few jobs. Okay. Part of why I have disabilities is because I couldn't keep jobs because of my autism and ADHD and how that would affect me. But I've had short term some jobs. Okay. So I paid this in my taxes before. My parents have paid taxes. My mom has been a hard worker whole life. Part of being a Swedish citizen, you have a right that if something happens to you, you get a disability. And I do believe that I got my autism from the government. Okay. So basically, I if I would be right in that, I would be like, really, I should get paid damages, like a lump sum of $3 million. And then I don't have to get uh, monthly payments from the government because my brain was damaged by the government. Okay. I'm not, I can't say what I believe caused it, but something that the government does to kids, uh, okay, can give you autism and ADHD, neurological disorders, problems. Okay. I believe this is the government responsible for that. So something that got, Something that the government does to kids can sometimes cause autism and ADHD. And autism and ADHD can make it hard for you to get to hold on a job, for example, in how it affects you. 
and it can change from person to person how severe it is, what problems you have. So really, I look at like I should have gotten paid like a lump sum of three million Swedish crowns, over like three hundred thousand dollars, and then I could just buy a house and live there. Okay, take my supplements, work to manage my autism ADHD that the government gave me. Uh, I believe this is all personal belief and opinion. Okay, speculation. I've given you this. This is a fact that the government calls. That's not what I'm saying. So this is what I believe. Okay, personally, I believe this. Um, so since I didn't get that, I don't have any guilt or shame about. I'm free. I don't have guilt. You can't shame me. I don't have guilt or shame about. Oh, I'm on disability. Really, I should have gotten paid a lump sum of three hundred thousand dollars for damages of getting autism and other things the government has done to me, like wrongfully placing me in a foster care home when I was a child. That has also caused damage. Okay. There's other things. Okay. Um, but I, I didn't. So I really don't have any problems collecting disability money every, every month. Okay. Which is my right. It's not welfare. It's if you're a Swedish citizen, you have autism. It affects you to this extent. You have a right to get money every month. Okay. It's not like, oh, please give me some money. No, it's like, if you're a Swedish citizen, you have a right to collect this amount of money every month if you have this problem. Similar to uh, the uh, American system, be like, you have insurance. And if your insurance would be like, if this happens to you, you have a right to this much money paid every month. And oh, that happened to me. Okay. You have the right to collect it from insurance company. We have a social insurance, but it's the society's insurance, not private insurance. Okay. So uh, you can't shame me. You can't gaslight me into thinking untrue things about myself. I'm doing more important things than 99.99% of people are part of the solution. Most people are part of the problem. On a day to day basis, I'm doing more important things, more productive, important things than the average person. 10 times more important teaching the gospel teach you how to live longer how to protect yourself from the toxins in the sick world system teach you how to improve i've taught how to cure depression allergies uh anxiety sleeping problems um i've I taught people how to improve adhd autism if they suffer from that i've taught how to cure depression schizophrenia i've taught how to improve allergies I've taught how to increase your lifespan, how to detox your body. Things are killing people every day. I'm out here teaching people how to fix them. There's people killing themselves and other people every day, get hooked on alcohol or drugs and kill themselves other people because they're too stressed and have too much anxiety and they're alcoholic or something like this. I'm out here teaching you things, how to address these problems, okay? So yeah, no, you can't shame me or gaslight me to feel like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm productive. You're not, you're not that. You you're not doing whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Notice how the truth is the best offense and the best defense. You got destroyed today. You silly little goof. And I find it a pattern that people that come against me are wicked liars. There's some patterns. Like, hey, what type of people are coming to attack Mike? To, if somebody shows up not like Mike attacking him, it's people that are wicked, dishonest, untruthful, who lie. Okay, wicked men don't like Mike Saha, Christian man of God. Wicked men don't like Mike Saha, a man of God doing the will of God, working for God, and they want to attack him. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Okay. Yeah, all that live godly should suffer persecution. Okay. And I definitely drew a horn as a good soul of Jesus Christ. I don't even count this to be a hard thing like dealing with the troubles. Okay. There's some real things like the government trying to murder him by shooting me to see a heart attack under my right calf. That I still have a numb feeling as I speak more than eight months after it happened. I have a numb feeling in my right calf from being hit with a dart gun. Okay. Uh going to a system hospital, uh, a dentist. And after I went to the dentist, I started having a tooth infection up here. Okay. That I've been dealing with for about two years. And I have a pain in my neck right now. And some pressure in the crown of my head coinciding with the pressure sensation here. 
after going to the dentist and she started poking up her teeth with a sharp metal hook. So uh, there's things that are, uh, it's, it feels like calling like the, this hardness dealing with the, uh, it should be annoying, but the, the, the occasional satanic minions coming to attack my channel, make us agents. Uh, it's like I, I, I got big fishes to fry for more, so I talk about things that are hard in my life. <laughs> okay. But I do, therefore, do hardness as a good soul, Lord Jesus Christ. I started talking about it earlier in this session about how if you're a weak man, God can't use as a soldier in his army to fight wars in this world. Okay. To do things. Uh, you have to be able to do hardness to be able to be a good soldier, even a decent soldier. Okay. You have to be, even to be a soldier, you have to be to do hardness not even look at if you're a good one or not or decent because people weak people like like this bill guy that i've been going back and forth with this wicked false accuser he claims to be a christian he may or may not be uh he's so weak that if he gets one comment troll comment like what i just got here live okay this happens all the time he got one comment like this he make it he made a he got one comment along this line like somebody writing a comment his video saying something negative about him and it's like, I don't want to live anymore. And goes crying, looking for sympathy from people. Okay. I don't want to live anymore. This person left the comment or something like this. Okay. And then after he starts saying bad things about me in his videos, I mean, he's made videos slandering me, false accusing me. Mike adds a condition to say, he uploaded a video saying, Mike adds a condition to salvation. He says you have to feel sorry for your sins. That's a lie. And burn no proof is on him. Show where I'm teaching this to people. Where am I currently, right now, Mike is adding, present tense, not six years ago he was confused to doctors or like this, or a baby Christian. No, he is, present tense. Mike adds, present tense, is adding right now a condition to salvation. He says you have to feel sorry for your sins. Okay, I never said that. I don't say, I don't teach that. I don't teach people to get said you have to feel sorry for your sins. Okay. You have to feel sorry for your sins to be saved. I don't add that condition to salvation. I teach salvation by faith alone. So yeah, he's made videos saying negative. He's attacked me before. And if I make videos attacking him, it's like, okay, you want to fight? We're fighting. He makes videos saying negative things about me that are not true, like attacking my character. Mike is this. Mike does that. Like, okay. And if I make videos back, like, oh, I'm going to look at some real things, true things to say about this guy. Well, who's this guy? Well, he's this bad thing, that bad thing, doing this bad thing. And if I like, I think this guy is ugly or something like this. Look at what's wrong. You want to get a haircut or something. Uh, uh, but, uh, okay. I'm, that doesn't be true things. Now, he has a condition to salvation. It's just prayer or something like this. If you want to say something bad about me, it's going to be true. Okay. One of the things I can do is say, well, this guy is sloppy and lazy, slothful. Why are you not exercising? You're morbid little bees. You look weird. Okay. What's wrong with you? With your weird haircut. Take better care of yourself. Okay. And, he, and he's so weak that then he starts hiding his face in his videos and never shows his face on camera anymore. Because I like, what well, look at you. What's wrong with you? You know, oh, I'm gonna. I can't show my face in videos anymore because somebody made fun of me. Okay. God can't use a weak man like that to fight in his war against lies and the satanic deceptions of the system. You have to be able to endure hardness to be a good soul of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. God can't use a weak man to fight in his war. And then, to specify, I'm not a, like a radical, crazy terrorist here. We gotta take back the God. Let's go down and uh, fight the cops. Okay, no. Uh, what I'm saying is, it's an info war. Okay, you fight with the truth. The system is pumping out lies. You attack these lies. Okay, it's an info war. The system is saying this right now. You attack that lie. Here's a person putting out the lies on YouTube, like Joel Olstein, lying about salvation. This guy is wrong. This is how you fight. You can make a video. Joel Austin is wrong. You say by faith, not a prayer. Okay. So that's the Christian's warfare. The truth. Using the truth to attack lies. And using the truth to defend the truth. Okay. And if you want to be a good soldier of Christ, a decent, or even be a soldier of Christ, you have to be able to endure hardness, difficulty, 
psychological, physiological pain and difficulty. Okay. And that's why God is using me because there's no, not a lot of other men out here that know what I know and can take this level of assault that I've been under from the satanic world system. Okay. God can use a man like me. God can use a, behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one. I'm a strong man. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one. If he wants to use uh, somebody to fight against Goliath, he's going to use David. Okay. And David was able to uh, fight and take, he was not a coward. He was not a coward, see. He was willing to fight somebody bigger than him. Like me being willing to fight something bigger than me, more powerful than government that's trying to kill me and all these other things, see. It's like, I'm willing, I'm not a coward. I'm willing to take the fight, God, you support me. Let the shit form where they may. I've been through difficult things before. When I was a young boy, I used to slingshot. I can do this. Okay. I can do this. Yeah, but Goliath is so strong. You're like a grasshopper. I feel like a grasshopper. This is God can use people like this. But Goliath is so big. The government. But Goliath is so big. We all like grasshoppers. I'm the Goliath. Like little ants. What can little me do? Huh? I don't want to go hiding. Okay. God can use you. Okay. But if you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm willing. I'm willing and able. I trust God. Can, I trust God can keep it going. Okay. God can use you. And if being hardened, okay, not like hardened in the negative, but having had a hard life, I've been hardened. Like I, masculinity is forged by going through difficulty. Okay. It's not like you're going to in one day, a crash course, become a tough person psychologically and be strong and resilient and be a resilient man have resiliency no that takes time okay and my life has made me be resilient my masculinity has been forged okay meaning i've had a difficult life i've had a lot of difficult hard things happening to me which builds character going through hardships and enjoying them builds character strength of character okay you can't take a guy who's been working a flower shop or in the hairdressing salon Oh, today we're gonna, and then be like, you're gonna be drafted into the war, send you out on the battlefield today. No, you're gonna have to, if you wanna have a guy like that in war, you're gonna have to start putting him through some tough circumstances, some difficult times to harden him, to straight, okay, to get to get him to be more resilient. You're gonna have to put him through some hard times so he will stop being <laughs> soft and mushy and ready. I'm not saying every person working in a hairdressing salon is a weak person. I'm saying that it's like the stereotypical gay guy. Okay, some people are gay men like to work as hairdressers. It is a thing. Not every hairdresser is gay, but you find more gay guys work as hairdressers than being car mechanics. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, you get, you get my point. I had a comment here. Yes, that person is going to get blocked. And notice how I'm not like reeling and like, oh, I got a comment. Stop bullying me. Leave me alone. Okay. Notice how I'm like, I'm able to, I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll use this. And I destroyed his comment. Okay. I mean, he's saying something. I, 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 okay. And then I just block him. I'm done with you. But I, I let him. He wasn't blocked. He didn't write anything more after that. Kind of looks like he ran away with the tails between his legs and was downfounded. Kind of looks like he was confounded there. Because now, when I lean in here and click, that's when I block the guy. Okay. Like right now, less than a minute, 60 seconds ago, I clicked block the guy that left that comment. And it's been like, what, 15, 30 minutes? And he didn't write anything else. He just like this hit around comment. And then I started answering it. And he didn't have any, anything more to say. After I started answering his comment, reproving it, he didn't say anything else. It's almost like he's downfounded. He ran away with his tail between his legs type thing. He didn't have anything more to say. Okay. And uh, after answering his comments, I go, he, he hasn't written anything more. Block. Okay. So. Hello, Lisbon. So it's taking some time to uh, get to the normal comments. <coughs> Hello, Lisbon. Welcome to my live stream. Another day, another live stream. And the coffee is finished. I'm gonna make some more coffee pretty soon. 
have some more dripping water. It's not mirrored, or or it is mirrored. I don't know which one, but this is sort of set on the camera where you turn it, and I'm turning it this way, but it, it becomes like inverse. Yeah, there you go. Be right back. Go check something. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Yeah, so in short, uh, summarize my argument. What I'm doing is more important than what most people are doing on a day-to-day -day basis all the time. What I do on a day-to-day -day basis is more important than being a wage slave. Okay. What I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis is more important than what most people do with the time of the day. I'm doing more important good in this world. Including not limited to uh, Teaching people how to protect themselves and their children and loved ones against a satanic attack you're under. Because the same is a poison in you. They condition you to use all these toxic chemicals on your body. And you don't know what it's doing to you. And I'm warning you about it. And then I'm teaching you how to take less damage. I'm teaching you how to extend your lifespan. How to be stronger, fitter, and healthier. I'm teaching people how to stop getting sick as often as you do. How to look better, feel better. Okay. Improve your health problems. Uh, that's part of what I do. I give the full truth. I'm needing the matrix. I teach the full truth, not partial truth, not only like truths about health fitness. I teach the truth about this world system that you find yourself in. The truth about the Bible, God, the truth about your soul, the truth about all things in this world. 
and it is much more important than what most people are doing. That's not just stuff that I say to make myself feel good. This is the truth. What I do is more important, meaningful than what most people do at the time. People working for borders, they're doing things to help and to save and keep humanity deceived. Okay. They're different than what I'm doing, support from what these scumbags are doing. They're working, helping the government to keep the people believing global warming hype scare, get people to do what the Satanists around the media want them to do, keep people ignorant of this thing, keep people believing this lie, manipulate the minds of the masses to keep them enslaved mentally and keep them sick and ignorant. Uh, I'm doing good in this world. I'm doing good in this world. Objective verifiable. I'm doing good in this one. Important stuff. I do so many good, important things that if I stop thinking about I'm going to list off some of them, the list would be so long. Like all the things that I'm doing. I teach people how to live longer if they get cancer, how to cure allergies, depression. A lot of people get on big pharma drugs and have the life from like Jordan Peterson. His life was destroyed for a short time because he got addicted to benzodiazepines because he doesn't know what I teach my YouTube channel that you can cure anxiety, panic attacks even, and depression with safe and effective supplements. And you don't have to turn to the big form of benzodiazepines and get addicted to them. And then he's not productive making any content because he's for six months he's reeling from the big form of drug addiction that he got because he hadn't watched Mike Sartre's videos and taken his advice. He just had to cure anxiety problems. They should cure depression. They should to decrease stress and anxiety. See? A lot of satanic minions that want to come. Attack. Okay, thank you, Norman. Okay, so I uh, sing out the comment and I address it if I feel like there's something I want to say about it. A lot of times the shop is going to talk. Uh, sometimes if they shop, I don't even mention it. I see the talk comment on blog though. And I just go, there was a talk comment here that got blocked. So, don't think if you're told that if you call me about it, something I'm gonna address it. It will be more or less rare. That's part of how the matrix system runs interference with this tree slashing that I do right now. Very important. Um, <laughs> that's part of how the satanic system runs interference on that. They will send these little trolls, matrix agents. They run interference on what I'm doing. We need to interrupt him. He's teaching too much truth. He's showing people what we don't want them to see. He's talking about things we don't want people to know about. We have to run interference on this. Send some trolls to distract him. Get him off track from what he was talking about before the troll came in. Try to treat him, get him angry. Provoke his spirit that he made. For that they provoke his spirit that he spake and advice with his lips. That's what I try to do a lot of time, like I did to Moses. Most of a great man of God. And when people provoke his spirit, they let his become lost in slips. Meaning saying things with his face, palm, I should have said that. Okay. Um, type is it. Not exactly that, but it's, it's like that gets the point across. Saying things which they shouldn't have.
my my cigar is a bit stuffed. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, it's hard to pull air through it. It's like it's it's closed. What I do is a lot more important and I'm more productive. What I'm doing is more significant and important and consequential than if I would have a nine to five job. This is a lot more important, a lot more important. I save people's lives. It's what I'm in the business of doing. That's more important. I'm sharing life-saving information on my YouTube channel. There's many people that kill themselves, their children, uh, kill people, kill themselves, kill somebody else, end up in prison because they don't know what I'm teaching on my YouTube channel. A lot of people that have stress, they have anxiety, stress, mental illness problems because they're not doing what I recommend to do. They end up killing themselves or somebody else. There'd be less murders and crimes in society if more people listen to the Mike Sarr channel and took it seriously, took the advice. Okay. So, definitely. If you have anxiety, depression, you feel stressed, take these supplements to help you calm down. People that have a stress, anxiety, mental health problems will listen to me, take my advice. There'll be less people killing themselves on the people, get less people get addicted to alcohol or street or big farm drugs okay and the truth is the best offense and the best defense and you have been witnessing the uh, truth being used in defense against some satanic feels me in trouble hiding about anonymity i still like to do like little cockroaches hiding in the darkness doing evil things see i'm doing something good i don't have to hide my face here's my name mike saha i'm showing my face and my name because I'm not doing something wrong. So I don't feel like I have to hide behind a anonymous account. Okay. I don't go around other people's channels when they're live streaming attacking them. Okay. I'm busy doing something productive here. And other losers that have been recruited by the government gang stalking program to come attack me in my chat. Uh, they're hiding behind anonymity because they do something wrong. And they know it. And they don't want their identity associated with this evil thing that they do online. Most people are ready to be a fight. But the activity itself is meaningful. I've talked about it before. I, mean, I don't I don't have like a, I'm only gonna feel I don't have like a I'm waiting until I get a certain amount of views to reach a certain amount of people until I feel a sense of accomplishment. No, the activity itself is meaningful. I'm out here doing something before. I'm out here showing the truth that people don't know. I'm out here attacking the satanic lights of the system. Right, figured out a fix to the cigar problem. It was a little bit clogged. 
I think it was back here. I took a Q-tip and then uh, pushed it in and rotated it. And after that, it's there's a better draft in it. Before it was like you had to pull it really hard, and it's like it's not enough air coming through. It. It's like it's stuffed. And uh, I so thought maybe if I poke a hole in it in the back, it will it will help, and it did. this but I think she'd like she wasn't here before so I'm going to do a vitamin C detox class today. I already have 20 grams of vitamin C. That's 20,000 milligrams of vitamin C since waking up today. But after I finish that, definitely it's been 20,000 milligrams of vitamin C. And I'm going to mix up more vitamin C. And I'm going to keep taking it. I'm get a vitamin C detox flush. Less likely to get hemorrhoids if you take vitamin C. If you have a constipation problem, you get constipated. You can use vitamin C to make yourself go on the tube. So that's another thing that this medicine of vaccine can help you with. Meaning, instead of waiting until you get constipated, and then you will go take some big pharma drug, anti-constipation medicine, laxative, and if you read the insert, you will have that. Can do this help from the of And uh, vitamin C, if you take a big dose of vitamin C, it will make it go down the tube. If you're having infrequent bowel movements, if you're suffering the problem having infrequent bowel movements, vitamin C can help with that. Um, a lot of times, if you take 5 to 10 grams of vitamin C, it will make it go down the in the morning if constipated. Take five to ten grams of vitamin C, you might be enough to have a bowel movement. Um, if you want a liquid bowel movement, which is like an enema effect, where you get a liquid bowel movement and your bowels empty themselves, a lot of times 15 to 20 grams in a single dose would be enough to produce that effect. Sometimes, me being autistic, many people have autism have uh, food intolerances, food and lactose intolerances. And uh, I'm gluten free and sugar free. No to no lactose, that means I don't eat lactose often, and I really don't eat that much of it. And sometimes I eat a small amount of lactose, sometimes more than low, and I take lactose enzymes. But I still experience how I get constipated and some, some gastro, gastrointestinal uh, issues from consuming lactose. Because I might be constipated, I eat, and the next day I'm constipated. And if I want to get a full number two, it solves the constipation problem. I take 15, 20 grams of vitamin C, I get liquid bubble. See? 
that's another thing about the hub script. That's another thing about the hub script. You can use it as a backseat. And it's not going to be an unwanted backseat that you're going to get a diarrhea if you don't want to get one. If you don't know how to use one, you're not going to get unwanted diarrhea. But it's something you can use. After you don't use this tool, you learn, I take this much, this off, and I don't get a problem with the to help. If I want to get a problem with the bumps and detox and uh, liquid enema, I'd rather have, you know, some people are health sickness people, but like I do uh, enemas. I pump cough into my uh, butt. I put tubes up my butt and pump more liquid into it to, uh, to get my bowels to clean themselves, to empty my stomach, and to clean it out. <laughs> That's the normal way. I would rather take a uh, dose of vitamin C big enough to make me have a diarrhea. And it has the same effect. It has an enema effect without putting stuff up to the butt. Okay? You take 15 to 20 grams of vitamin C for most people, that will give you a big problem. An enema type effect. Every single dose. You wake up in the morning, I want to get a diarrhea. A big problem empty my stomach of all the bad stuff in there. Whatever I would want to empty, clean up my stomach. You take uh, 15 to 20 grams of vitamin C, mix it into a glass of water, half a liter. You could try 15 the first time you do it if you want to try it. 15 grams, that's three teaspoons of vitamin C powder. Five, 10, 15. Three teaspoons uh, ascorbic acid, 80 vitamin C powder. And you can put in one and a half teaspoons of the white corn. Now it's going to start bubbling when you mix them together, like an effervescent powder. So you want to fill the glass to maybe a third or 50% if you have like a pint sized glass. You fill it to a third at most 50%. And then you add uh, one and a half teaspoons of the white corn. And then you add slowly some added this for the acid. Okay. You add one profile piece per sort of bike up first. I'll teach you how to do sea flush again. I have even much time about it. I can show you actually. I show you this is how you do a sea flush. If you want to get a liquid bar movement, the same effect as having an enema, you're constipated or you just want to detox your body. You want to flush out your bowels. I will teach you how to do it. Right here we go. This is a pint sized half a meter cap. Let's fill it up with water. That's about 50%. Okay. Next up, I my teaspoon measure, my five gram measure. This is a teaspoon measure, five grams. Okay, so for the timestamp, which I'll put in, I'm gonna repeat it. But it's no longer lag. Okay, quickly, that's the five minutes gonna teach you how to do a bottom C detox flush, which you can use to empty your bowels. If you're constipated, if you wanna have a diarrhea, a liquid bowel will empty your bowels like an enema effect, a laxative, without the side effects and risk associated with big formal laxatives. This is a half a liter water, pint sized, okay? 0 0.5 liters. I filled it to 50%, okay? Fill half the glass with water, okay? Next up, Dr. Oetker sodium bicarbonate is the brand that I use for this medicinal water solution. Vitamin C is what I use to cure my girlfriend's allergies. 
um, RMC mega also. So this medicinal solution, half of it, half of the equation making this medicinal water is the sodium bicarb. Dr. Oetkebrand is what I use. So, and sometimes I will keep the Dr. Oetker can and buy another in bulk, like a kilo of, of sodium bicarb and then use the Dr. Oetker can. Bicarb is bicarb. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is one teaspoon measure. That's five grams sodium bicarb, sodium bicarbonate, and a half, okay, one and a half teaspoon sodium bicarb has been put into this water. I'm going to circle around a little bit. Next up, ascorbic acid, aka vitamin C powder, pure ascorbic acid. This is a kilo can that I bought on Amazon. Five, ten, fifteen grams of ascorbic acid. That's fifteen grams of vitamin C. Fifteen thousand milligrams. And you can see it started to bubble. That's called effervescence, like an effervescent tablet. The reason that you feel it only to fifty percent or a third is that uh, if you fill it up to the top, it will bubble over. You run over the uh, gold top. So now I'm going to put this spoon in here. I'm going to stir it. And you want to mix it until there's no powder visible, until it's completely dissolved. But the powder has been completely mixed with the water. And there's no powder left in the liquid. I'm going to mix it in there. I'm going to do this live actually. So we'll see. I have a high immune of RMC than the average person. So sometimes I don't get a C flush from taking a 15 gram dose. But for the average person, you will get a C flush from uh, a single dose, like this dose here, vitamin C, will give most people a C flush. Uh, for me, sometimes it doesn't. So here's the 15 gram single dose of vitamin C. Sodium ascorbate is what I have created. You mix ascorbic acid and sodium bicarbonate together, you get an aqueous vitamin C solution known as sodium ascorbate, if you use the ratio that I just used. And this will be enough to produce a vitamin C detox flush, a liquid bar movement for 9 out of 10 people. And I'm going to take this, and I'm always not going to bring the laptop to the bathroom, but I'm going to see if that will be enough to give me, I have a higher need vitamin C than most people. I'm going to have this in a single dose, a C flush dose. This is a Detox flash dose of vitamin C, typically. You can have some rare occasions. If somebody's really sick or they had they're detoxing heavy metals, skilling heavy metals, and they have lead in the stomach, a toxic heavy metal, uh, they had the presence of a pro oxidant, a powerful potent toxin in the stomach, and they will take this dose. It might not give them a C flash because once that ascorbic acid hits the stomach and it's toxins and then it starts working to uh, neutralize them and some of the vitamin C is consumed on contact with the toxin. Um, but most of the time, most people will get a vitamin C detox flush from taking 15 grams of vitamin C in a single dose. Now you could do the same thing if you buy ascorbic acid in capsules. I buy vitamin C in bulk in a can like this on Amazon, a kilo for approximately $30. And the cheapest vitamin C might be different if you live in America. But the cheapest one I can find in Sweden, Amazon, that I see it's, it's this one. And it's a kilo for approximately $30. US dollars. And that's a kilo of vitamin C powder. Um, and I make, I make the uh, vitamin C water with it. That's called sodium ascorbic. And uh, you could also find a vitamin C supplement like. A capsule supplement that has a gram of vitamin C, a thousand milligrams of the powder inside of a capsule. And you want the one that has pure ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is the only ingredient, meaning they fill capsules with only this, the same powder that I buy in bulk to mix it with water. They, they, okay, you can find those ascorbic acid capsules. And the company buys in bulk vitamin C. And they have a machine and they fill capsules with this powder. And you want the pure ascorbic acid, not mixed with something else you don't want hard tablets if 
doctors want to stop taking vitamins in general. You don't want, especially not vitamin C, you don't want to buy tablets, hot tablets. You want pure ascorbic acid in capsules. And if you make the vitamin C water, you want to make it with sodium bicarb. Now, if you would put a teaspoon of ascorbic acid to a liter of water, you might not need to buffer it because it's all diluted. Okay. But for people with health problems, they want to use sodium ascorbate as medicine, titrate to bowel tolerance, you go to Cascard's titration to bowel tolerance protocol. Uh, in general, you want to buffer it with sodium bicarb because if you're going to have a lot of liquid running through your teeth, you don't want it to be super acidic. You, you, this is how I cure myself for health problems. And it grew other people's health problems, like we was in there before, it's like your allergies. It's not all I did, but it's like the 90% of the healing effect is from megaprose vitamin C. And she gets up in the morning, she starts making vitamin C water, and she keeps drinking it throughout the day. That's how she cured her allergies. So the reason, the main reason to buffer it, to mix it with um, sort of bicarb, is if I will put 15 grams of vitamin C, the three teaspoons of vitamin C powder, in that half liter water, and just stir it until it's mixed, it will be about as acidic as lemon juice, it's possibly more acidic than lemon juice. And it's not good for your teeth to have uh, acidic liquid, like raw lemon juice, running through your teeth multiple times a day. Because it's bad for your tooth anymore. That's the main reason to buffer it. And I'm expecting to gonna have to uh, take a break. So we'll see how long it takes. I think my stomach starts rumbling. An indication of the sea flash is coming. And I'll have to go to the bathroom pretty quickly. We get the bonds. And uh, yeah, something like brr, brr, brr. I call it the boss music because it means crap is about to go down. The crap is about to go down into the toilet. Okay, in video games, you enter a certain room, the boss mu music starts playing. The, the, it's, the shit is about to go down. Okay, that's a caster I think you can use as a Christian. Shit, that shouldn't be every other word come out of your mouth, but I think you might be able to say shit. Crap, definitely. Might be able to go cast as it were. Crap for sure. Ship is a modern word. The same word that in the Bible it says dung. Okay, dung. And the modern word for dung would be, or excrement would be shit. Okay. In the King James Bible that time, when people talk about crap, they would be saying dung. Okay, babe, I will be too. So you learned something new today. You can watch this live stream. If you get constipated, you want to go to the bathroom. If you would do what I just did, mix 15 grams of ascorbic acid into a glass of water and one and a half teaspoon of sodium bicarb and drink it in one go. Not like, like a lot of sips throughout the day. That's how you do Like if you want to get vitamin C throughout the day on an hourly two, three, every three hours, you can mix that up, put it in the fridge, and then throughout the day, you can go take a small sip. Okay, that's a good way to make those vitamin C. So somebody could have mixed up two teaspoons. If somebody wants to take 10 grams of vitamin C every day, and they're not trying to make themselves go number two, uh, they could just mix up two teaspoons of scorpic acid in a glass like this, one teaspoon sort of bicarb, mix it up, pour it up, have a small sip in the morning, put it in the fridge. This would be like in the weekend if you're not working and you uh, take a small sip like a tenth of it put it back there be one gram put it back into the fridge one two hours later you go take another sip put it back in the fridge like you go to the fridge take a sip on the glass put the glass back two hours later another sip and if you will start getting like rumbles in your stomach okay that indicates like now your body has enough pharmacy in there and you don't have to take more and if you'll take another dose right after you get like a little bit gassy and rumbly, you might you might go number two. Okay. Might make you go number two. Um so if you learn 
abuse pharmacy you don't have to be afraid of like accidentally getting a diarrhea okay it's like you have to try it if you want to get diarrhea you either have to take on uh, kind of big doses often like two grams every 30 minutes for example or two grams every hour until you get a C flash or one peak dose okay if you learn how to use vitamin C you're not gonna accidentally get a diarrhea okay yeah so I'm expecting to start getting rumbles in my stomach uh gassy get like gassy and rumbly flashlights rumbly and uh I'd be ready to go to the bathroom at which point I'm going to turn off my camera microphone at least a microphone <laughs> okay and uh that's part of what I got weak to do make it also about and see what could have it is and uh what I got to do was to start doing intermittent C flushes pardon see detox flushes at least what what I'm doing right now at least one detox flush a week and then daily mega dose vitamin C. I mean, she'll take at least 10 grams of vitamin C a day. More than 10 grams every day. Not in one dose, but wake up in the morning taking two, three grams. Two hours later taking two more grams, two, three hours later. Like, wake up in the morning, stop taking vitamin C, keep taking throughout the day. Every day, every day. And then occasionally doing a vitamin C detox flush, like what I just did. Uh, meaning she will have a detox flush. It, cleaning out her stomach, emptying her bowels, your, her, the body flushing out what's in the stomach. And uh, that's what she was doing before she got to the point where she, where she now says the micro allergies. 99% gone. My allergies are 100% gone. So I did what the professional doctors felt to do fix this woman's allergies. If you look at it right here, I'm going to upload a video. Um, I uploaded a video I've already recorded and I've had it on my hard drive for uh, close to a week now, I think. Um, where I was talking about improvements to another patient I'm working on, my mother, who's diabetic. And uh, she's the woman that I talked about has seen improvement in her health being a diabetic. Uh, me practicing gas medicine on her. Not only the vitamin C, there's other things I got to start taking to supplements. And that's what caused so health improvement and uh, uh she's she's uh talked to me she supported further improvements in her diabetes associated uh health problems i mean there are some things in diabetes uh having people come may have some issues with and, okay health problems associated with diabetes for many years and she has reported improvement she told me and she said i think you should be talking about this I mean, it's like a, I've had more health from this specific health problem. It's been improved. Then she said, I think you should talk about this on the YouTube channel. And I record a video at the end of the day, after a long day. And I have to look at it and see if I think that I got said what I want to send. So I'd upload a video that I've already had that I recorded and had on my hold for a while. Or I'll record a new video. I'm going to look at it, see if it, if I think it gets the job done or if I'm going to record a new video. I'm intending to do that within two weeks. At the latest. I'm not going to commit to upload it today because there's other things I need to do today. Yeah, so vitamin C can improve allergies. Vitamin C can uh, act as a natural laxative. Um, I use vitamin C megadose to cure my asthma. I used to have asthma attacks and go to the, uh, I go refill prescriptions for a Ventoline inhaler, inhaler, <laughs> inhaler, I have a Sean Connery, what kind? 
I'm Sean Connery. I'm driving a boat. Okay, anyway. Um, I used to refill prescriptions from a Ventline inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Because I would get asthma attacks. And I stopped using that. I haven't been using that for months. I don't need to. Just so I could stop taking antihistamine pills for my allergies. Since I started making lots of vitamin C, I don't have to use my Ventolin inhaler for my asthma anymore. I don't get asthma attacks. I will get asthma attacks. It's like, <sighs> sudden onset asthma attack. Very hard to breathe. If you exercise, you get <sighs> out of breath like within a minute from the asthma attack. And uh, I would use a Ventolin inhaler on a daily basis sometimes. More or less daily basis. And take antihistamine pills at times. For my allergies, then uh, I could stop taking them. Cure my asthma attacks. I don't, I don't use them. I don't need to. And uh, I used to have I get asthma attacks, like asthma, asthmatics do. Adult asthma, uh, exercise induced asthma attacks. Many feel asthma things can trigger an asthma attack. Exposed to things allergic to allergens. Uh, cold air or exercise. You start exercising, triggers an asthma attack. You get out of breath. Like after the minute you started to do something that was exerting yourself, exercising. Uh, and I stopped getting these asthma attacks. If it's cold, if I'm exposed to allergies, allergens, I don't get that asthma attack anymore. It's like hard to breathe, okay? Real hard to breathe. Uh, and I don't use the vent here anymore. And I don't get my allergies are not bad anymore. As long as I keep taking vitamin C often enough, enough vitamin C often enough, I don't need to take antihistamine pills. It suppresses my allergies. Vitamin C can have a natural antihistamine effect. You just have to figure out how much vitamin C you have to take, how often, to uh, manage allergies. And you don't need the antihistamine pills. Um, And I didn't have to stop smoking. So I could cure my asthma attacks without stopping smoking. Then I, I've done one hour recording sessions and made videos on my channel, getting the highest score of a line test video. I've done it four times live on my YouTube channel, doing a live line test. And I get the max score, you test your lines. And you start holding your breath, you start a video. And it's like a ticker. And then the longer you hold your breath, the better score you get. Okay, which is a good indicator of your lung health. And it goes to like normal lungs, okay lungs, good lungs, super lungs. Okay, get the super lungs. That's what this test tells me. Being a smoker, ex asthmatic, meaning a person used to get asthma attacks and uh, run short of oxygen. And I'm getting the highest score on asthma on, on uh, lung test videos. Done it four times. Highest score. Super lungs. Mike's a smoker, ex-asthmatic, still smoking. Gets told by lung test videos. Got super lungs. And uh, you can tell that my lungs are working well because I do a cardio sessions on my YouTube channel. That's another evidence. To getting the highest score on the lung test videos is one. And... Uh, doing 20 minute cardio sessions. I probably have better cardio, like the ability to start doing stuff like shadow boxing or boxing, hitting a bag. Um, probably better than most 33 old Swedish people that don't have asthma or, or have had asthma and they're not smokers. I mean, there's a lot of guys in the 30s that couldn't do what I do. I saw a comment on the Mike Tyson, uh, Roy Jones fight and somebody wrote a comment they had uh, like 300 likes on it or something. I don't remember exactly. <clears throat> and the comment was, it's like, you don't understand how hard it is. And it's like them moving around, okay, and uh, hitting each other in boxing training. And the comment said, you don't understand. I guess it's maybe some martial artist on the trains boxing who knows how hard it is. And he wrote, most guys in the 20s couldn't be getting up their shadow box for five minutes right, losing their uh, breath. So for long, long those lines are facing. I guess I could go find a comment. I want to see exactly. But something to the effect of most 20 year olds couldn't get up there and start shadow boxing or hitting a bag for five minutes without getting out of air. 
and never like, like these people in their 50s or something 40s 50s Roy Nelson and uh no Roy Jones Jr okay Roy Nelson is another martial artist Roy Jones Jr is in the UFC Roy Jones Jr and Mike Tyson the exhibition match and some wrote like you don't care how hard it is like you could try most 20 year olds or 30 year olds couldn't get up there and do shadow box for 5 10 15 minutes without getting out of breath like they couldn't do it and I've been doing 20 minutes cardio sessions where I'm hitting the bag fast hard and fast and more than just shadow boxing meaning it, it takes more energy if you're throwing punches and you put a lot of power into them than if you do shadow boxing okay so I've done cardio sessions shadow boxing and hitting a bag a dude self punching bag I have never done this it's my channel sometimes it's been like 15 minutes 10 15 minutes and I'm going without breaks okay sometimes five minutes okay not every time it's like the max but sometimes I've done like 15 minutes more or less 15 minutes of uh, hitting a bag moving fast okay not very light but moving fast like three five minutes sometimes uh sometimes I've done an hour of cardio where I'm bouncing around doing knife fighting with my ball for an hour okay I'm sure there might be some professional athletes in the UFC that might be able to match that but the average guy no the average guy the average three year old do some of the things that I've done on my YouTube channel the training sessions and they're not smokers that have had asthma before diagnosed with bronchitis asthma okay so that's remarkable that's the power of of that proves my health fitness knowledge another thing that proves my health fitness knowledge is the shape I'm in and I needed to work out less than 10 minutes a month to get the physique that I have like having a six pack six pack abs without doing ab exercises I don't do crunches I don't do sit-ups I've for years I have been doing things to build abs okay no like sit-ups crunches things that people do to, to build abs okay some guys they, they in the service need to go like find an app how to get six pack abs because they don't have them it's like do 150 crunches every day for three months you get a six pack okay this is the uh shape of my body and i got this physique working out less than 10 minutes every month lifting weights or doing squats or push-ups or anything you do to build muscle okay this is the shape I'm in working out less than 10 minutes a month less than 10 minutes a month in total that's 10 minutes spread out in 30 days okay that's a proof of my health fitness knowledge that I know how I know how to uh, get in shape stage shape without working hard okay some people had to work really hard I'm all about working smart not hard I don't I, I prefer not having to work out 30 minutes every day strength training and be exhausted so I can't do an eight hour live stream teaching the truth because I had it I had to work out an hour to get the physique I prefer needing to work out 30 to 90 seconds now and then and have this physique okay and not having to work that hard to get the cardio that makes me able to do 20 minute 30 40 sometimes close to an hour cardio sessions i prefer not having to work out really hard and exhaust myself so i have less energy over for other things i'm all about working out smart not hard it's not like the highest way is having to exhaust yourself to have physical health and progress to get better cardio and get the muscles a fit physique and good cardio you should work really hard and exhaust yourself and really have to work really hard for that that's not the highest way the highest way is it's it's not that hard it's like easy easy to get in this shape easy to be that strong in my cardio that's a higher way and I know that way and I can teach people that part of it is I know how to improve the testosterone levels and if you have high testosterone it's easy to get in shape and stay in shape 
if you don't have both testosterone like a lot of men have in the 30s a lot of men in the 20s and 30s have the testosterone levels for 40 or 50 year old even a six year old a lot of guys in the 30s they have the testosterone levels that would be normal for a six year old man to have but they're not 60 they're 20 25 or 30. Mega dosis supplements is uh, part of the six to success. That's part of the six to success. Mega dosing supplements. That's about 50% of why I can have six pack abs and have a ripped awesome physique. Look like a male underwear model without working hard for it. Like 10 minutes a month of training. Six pack abs. Okay, good cardio, not having to go running. A marathon run for two hours to get the card that I have so I can do 20 minute card sessions like shadow boxing. Um, for the six to success in being as strong, fit, and healthy as I am, and having overcome the health problems that were inhibiting my athletic ability and fitness, it's a, a good 50% of that is supplementation. Make it also supplements. Finding out how much I need, I need this much of this supplement this often. You take this supplement, that supplement, this supplement, this much of each this often okay frequency and dose figuring out the frequency and dose i personally need this much niacinamide this many times a day i need this much vitamin c in a dose okay this often this many times a day and then it's also about what you eat and what you don't eat eliminating inflammatory fats cutting out the sugar which lowers your testosterone okay uh going sugar free cutting out the gluten the sugar Cutting out trans fats, inflammatory fats, switching to healthy cooking oils, going starting to fast, doing fasting and keto. Okay. Doing fasting. Fasting more than 16 hours every day. And eating keto when I do eat. Okay. And what I eat when I do eat is also part of it. I don't need sugar. Okay. I don't need sugary stuff. I'm I get less than 10 grams of sugar every day. Do OMAD fasting most of the time. Eat on the one time every day. Fast more than 18 hours. When I do eat, unless I'm on a high carb period, I eat keto. Okay. So I eat uh, meat, eggs, a lot of fat, healthy fats, coconut oil, avocado, oil, olive oil, real butter, not margarine. Stay off the palm oil, the canola oil. And a lot of people have been brainwashed to think inside of the box. They think like, I know that because they had like the, the conditioning. They see me smoking cigarettes and they feel like that discredits me as a health fitness person. Like a fitness coach. No, it doesn't. Health fitness coach. No, it doesn't. I'm able to smoke cigarettes and not take the damage that normal people would take from smoking cigarettes. Where they will get out of breath going up the stairs or something like this. Can't get the highest score on a lung test video. That, that's the normal people. If they smoke cigarettes, they can't get high score on a long test video. They can't do 15 minute call sessions without losing their breath. Okay. I'm not recommending smoking people to people. If you don't smoke, don't stop. But uh, for me, I feel like it does more good than bad. Okay. And it's I don't feel like it's hurting me that much. But because I know how to protect myself. Make it all in the antitoxic vitamin C reduces the type the amount of damage you get from any toxin get into your body. If that's smoking or eating an organic food or whatever it is. So I'll pass on some of my secrets to success and being strong, fit, and healthy despite all this health problems I overcome. And but despite not having to work really hard to be strong, fit, and healthy. You know, make it also vitamin C. That's that's crucial. Uh, quitting the sugar. Okay. Not eating sugary stuff. Quitting the sugar. Fasting. Um, not eating inflammatory fats. Using healthy fats. Get a lot of healthy fats every day. 
coconut oil, avocado, olive oil, omega-3 fish oil. Um, yeah, so supplements, diet, crucial. And also the eating pattern, meaning fasting. Fasting every day. Fasting can boost your HGH, your testosterone. If you have too little, it helps normalize hormones. Fasting more than eight hours every day can boost your testosterone and your human growth hormone, HGH. Help normalize your hormones. Vitamin C and also can also improve your testosterone if you have too little. So, fasting, macros, vitamin C helps your hormones. And not eating sugar helps your hormones because sugar reduces your testosterone. Okay? Quitting the sugar, so I'll take vitamin C, do fasting. Those are helping to uh, normalize your hormones. If you're one of the common men that have in your 20s, 25, 30 years old, they have testosterone levels expected in a prepubescent boy or a six year old man or something like this. Uh, a lot of men have too low testosterone and the type of performance is not that good, the energy levels. And part of that is the low testosterone. And I'm teaching on my channel. You can find out on my YouTube channel and Facebook group that I started how to raise your testosterone levels. Statistically, if somebody's in the 20s or 30s, they're going to have and find my video last year on Facebook or something like this. They're going to be one of the masses, like the common man that has low, very low testosterone. They have, they're like 25, 30, they have this testosterone levels of a 50 year old or 60 year old or something like this. They have too low testosterone, most likely, statistically. And you can learn on, on my Facebook and my uh, YouTube channel, or if you prefer to watch it, you can learn how to raise your testosterone levels, how to heal yourself, how to improve your mental, physical fitness. And if you have a health problem, how to fix them, address them with natural alternative medicine. So that's part of the value that I have to the world, that I provide for free. See, I don't charge you, I don't have Facebook posts. I can teach the secrets to be a strong, fit, and healthy, but you're gonna have to buy my indie book or draw my picture on and pay money to get to watch my videos that I teach these things. So I teach them for free. And I've already covered some of these things in the past Facebook live streams, like the hormonal stuff. And I'm going to cover that again, more like that. I keep talking about it. Just, I haven't said everything that there is to say about certain topics. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna hang my laundry on the drying rack. But first, I need to remove some things that are on the drying rack. And I'm sad about what she needs the system works to hide me from me. That's why I don't get that many views my live streams because they, I'm shadow man. They hide my content from people because I'm the, in the matrix. I'm as in the matrix teaching the masses things that I want to know. Here's the thing. If you want to be an uncommon man, an extraordinary man, you have to stop living like a common man. So I'm an extraordinary man. I'm extraordinary fit. Most guys don't have a six pack. Most guys don't look as good as I do. Most guys don't have testosterone levels, the energy, the strength, the stamina, the endurance that I have their athletic performance. They're common. Okay, mediocre. I'm not mediocre, I'm extraordinary. Uncommon, I'm an uncommon man. I'm uncommon amongst uncommon men because most guys that have the physique that I have, the athletic performance, that's uncommon, first of all. They're having to put in a lot more work to get it than what I do, see? It's uncommon to be one of these guys that have this body that I have and this their performance and energy. That's uncommon. But what makes me even more uncommon uh, is that I don't have to work as hard as these other guys to have. Okay? So if you want to be an uncommon man, you're going to have to live an uncommon life. What am I doing that's uncommon? Statistically, 
the average American consumes more than 88 grams of sugar every day. 88 or more grams of sugar every day. That's common, average. Common men eat more than 80 grams of sugar every day in America. I don't do that. See, that's not common. It's not common to quit the sugar and eat less than six grams of sugar every day. That's uncommon. It's uncommon to take more than six grams of vitamin C every day. Most men don't. The common man doesn't take six grams or more of vitamin C every day. I do. Uh, it's uncommon to not use canola oil and that all the fats you use are healthy fats. Don't give you inflammation. To use only coconut oil, avocado oil, Olive oil, coconut oil, avocado when you cook food. It's uncommon to fast more than 18 hours every day. Most guys don't. And to eat keto when you do. Okay. So if you want to be an uncommon man, you're going to have to live an uncommon life. And what I recommend you to do is to cut out all the sugar. If you're not willing to quit it completely, like I did, and stop eating sweets and treats, I, mean, I don't eat cookies, I don't eat ice cream, I don't drink anything that has a lot of sugar in it. I don't eat ice cream, don't eat cookies, don't drink soft drinks, don't eat sweets and treats, okay? Eat less than 10 grams of sugar every day. So that's best. But if you're not willing to at least cut down on the amount, or sugar you eat every day. Like reduce the gram amount of sugar you consume on a daily basis. Um, start eating healthier. When you cook, cook with healthy fats, coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil. Um, start taking supplements. Make it also omega-3, fish oil. Take vitamin E, vitamin C most importantly. Get at least six grams of vitamin C every day. Cut it up into multiple doses, two grams three times a day, or one gram six times a day. You might need more, but as a bare minimum amount, you can expect to need at least six grams a day in divided doses. Uh, switch to healthy cooking fats. Start cooking with olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. Use real butter if you want butter in your food, not margarine. Real butter. You might want to cut out the gluten, okay? Scan yourself for food intolerances. Um, what else? Yeah, we covered some of the things. Start reducing your daily toxin exposure. I talked about this before. Stop using the commercial shampoo and the commercial common man's hand washing soap. What most people use to wash their hands in the sink, or what most people use to wash themselves in the shower, and switch to a liposome, for example, a natural alternative, okay, without these fatalities and fragrances in there and other chemicals. Switch to liposome. It's made from olive oil or laurel soap, laurel and liposome, okay, laurel soap and liposome, natural, with no fragrances and fatalities and things like that. Switch to natural alternatives. A liposome is a good one. Start showering with a liposome. Get a bar of liposome, natural. Without the, you look for the, organ, the natural, like 100% organic, no, 100% natural ingredients. Look for that. You can search Amazon and liposome. Um, they might have it in a health food store where you live, like a supplement or health food store, something like this. And liposome. I'm looking for natural liposome without the, uh, all these chemicals in it. You might be able to find it in real life, so to speak. But I order it online a lot of time. I search Amazon for Liposol to buy a three pack of it. And I look for the one that's uh, the cheapest. And it doesn't have these added chemicals and fragrances. Okay. Liposol. And you can have one in the shower. Use one Liposol for the shower. You can have one in the sink to hand wash pots and pans. You can have one in the kitchen sink, okay, for, for washing dishes. You, you can have one in the uh, bathroom sink for washing your hands. But that's a way to reduce your daily toxic exposure. And I would also recommend you stop spraying perfume on yourself. 
Okay, don't put perfume on your skin. And uh, they, they don't use deodorant. If you have body odor, you can spray cloth or silver. You take a shower with lepus soap, dry off, then you spray cloth or silver. You get 20 ppm cloth or silver, uh, or about 10 ppm, even 5 ppm. Put it in a spray bottle, um, and you spray it on your armpits after you shower. So you take a shower with lepus soap, from my body odor, okay? Shower with lepus soap. You have a spray bottle, big or small, with 5 ppm to 10 ppm chlorosilver, okay, chlorosilver water. And you can make your own, meaning I like high concentrate. I bought this on Amazon. This is uh, 50 ppm chlorosilver. So I can dilute it, meaning just use a cap of it and then clean the filter water. And I can get it to be 5 ppm, okay, by diluting it. But you can also buy a liter of 10 ppm uh, cold silver. So you get a liter bottle, 10 ppm cold silver, you don't have to dilute it. It's 10 ppm. So this is uh, a good thing to do. You take showers with the lepus soap. It doesn't have these toxic fragrances and fatalities in there. Okay. And if you're worried about your BO, I just got a little bad in one, so I gotta plug it in again. I unplug my computer before. Okay, here you go. Gonna do a mic check here. Testing. Okay, yeah, it's working. Yeah, so uh, this is one of the secrets to success in having high testosterone. You're lowering your testosterone, most men, just like the savings want you to. And they're having a feeling which most men have low testosterone. One of the ways you are lowering your testosterone, they're not forcing you, they're not sending a nurse to your house. This part of the matrix system that I'm new the matrix. Unplug you from the matrix system. The satanic people that control this world, the matrix system, they were they want their low testosterone as a man. That's part of their agenda. They want you weak and soft. They got you on the sugar that softens you up, the soft drinks. They got you using the softener when you wash your clothes in the washing machine. They got you softening yourself up, lowering your testosterone with these commercial shampoos you put on your skin. Okay. And I'm teaching you how to raise your testosterone. Okay. And here it is, once again, <clears throat> switch to a lepo soap. Stop using the commercial shampoos, okay? Stop spraying perfume on you. Stop washing your clothes in perfume, aka softener, because that's softening up on your testosterone, depending on what you use. I've put links in my past videos to these articles showing you that fragrances and perfumes can lower your testosterone. Endocrine disruptors, they can lower your testosterone. You get this on your skin, it can lower your testosterone. So one of the ways you lower your testosterone is eating sugar, okay? One of the ways is you're spraying chemicals on you. You wash your clothes in chemicals. You wash yourself in the shower in chemicals. You're washing your hands in the sink with chemicals every day. You can't dry off while you stay in the shower. Stop doing these things and you can uh, detox yourself, okay? Now, if you're going to be foolish and keep doing all these stupid things, uh, don't wonder if you have a lot of sauce. I keep eating the sugar, use all these chemicals that make chronic daily toxin exposure. Okay. I recommend you stop it. Stop using these chemicals. Your daily chronic toxin exposure that you're doing to yourself. The same is not sending a rifle squad to your home or like two cops with guns and a nurse. You're going to have to put this syringe into you, inject yourself with estrogen or a testosterone blocker. No. How they succeed in getting you tell all the salsa that they want you to have is by getting you, they brainwashed you, you sleep in the matrix, the matrix has your mind. They've conditioned and brainwashed you to use all this shit every day that lowers your testosterone and your IQ. It makes you weaker and softer minded, minded so you're easier to control by them. Okay, you have less energy, you're less strong, less energetic, lower testosterone. It's easier to control soft cupcake men than to control strong athletes that have a sharp mind, they know what they're up to. They can see through the bullshit facade. They can see what the saviors are doing. They can see how they're being attacked by the system, choosing not to take the poison pills they're offered by the system. Okay. And they know how to protect themselves. But even if you would, I'm go I have got to keep eating sugar. I'm going to keep using these chemicals, lowering my testosterone. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to switch to it. Well, something you could do, you'd be better off if you start taking vitamin C. If you keep using the shampoos, the perfume, the softener, eating sugar and junk food, you'll take less damage from that. 
if you make a dose of vitamin C. Get at least six grams of vitamin C every day in divided doses. Two grams right after waking up, two grams in the middle of the day, two grams towards the end of the day. You'll take less damage from these different toxins. So they got you poisoning yourself because the matrix has a hold of your mind. The matrix has you. Okay. And how you can protect yourself from these physical attacks of the matrix system to low that are working lower testosterone. Stop using the commercial shampoo. Okay. Stop using the commercial common man shampoo, the common man with low testosterone that was used every day. Stop using the softener on your clothes in the washing machine that the common man with low testosterone uses with these fatalities and fragrances that can lower your testosterone. Stop using that. Stop using the hand washing soap that the common man uses with low testosterone. Uh, with these chemicals in that can lower your testosterone. Stop using the commercial, popular, normal shampoo that most people use. They believe or whatever you're using, like the the thing what they wash your hands with. Stop using the shampoo you're using. Stop washing your clothes with softener. Switch to natural alternatives. Okay. You can wash your clothes with vinegar and sodium bicarb. That's what I do. And if you want to switch to that, you have to wash out the washing machine. You don't want to mix the vinegar with chemical detergent residue in your machine or something like this. It might be some kind of chemical reaction. So you want to if you want to switch to the natural, safer alternative of wash your clothes in your washing machine, if you have one, you have to wash out your machine first. So you pull out the compartment in the washing machine, you take it to your shower or if you have a bathtub, and you use hot water from the shower holes and you clean it 360 all around thoroughly. You do a good job cleaning it, okay? You run a lot of hot water in that thing. You clean it out. You wash it every which way, 360. You wash it in the shower with hot water. You can even get some water, like spray it into the empty hole of the uh, pull-out compartment, depending on what type of washing machine you have, if there's some residue up there, okay? You, you might have some chemical residue, some detergent powder residue, like gunk that's been like stuck on the walls, like where you, the, around where you have the pull-out compartment. So first clean the pull-out compartment. <coughs> After you've done that, you can leave it out there. You can have a flashlight, you can look and see if there's any like chemical residue. Okay, it looks like it is like build up or, so, or something, which can happen from the chemical powder detergent and the softener stuff. So you might want to get something like a water, like a spray bottle with hot water and like spray it in there. To, to like wash it out and have it run down into the machine, okay? Or maybe you, if you have a, something else, like wash it out, okay, up there, and the water will down, run down into the machine, depending on what type of machine you have. So make sure you don't wreck the machine. I don't know if there's a machine that will be sensitive to this, but I think most machines you can do this. Okay, so I'm teaching you now how to switch, make the switch to sodium bicarb and vinegar, which I use to wash my clothes when I lower my testosterone when I poison myself when I wear these clothes that have been drenched in perfume and chemical detergent and I'm watching it, wearing it and have it on my skin all day, lower my testosterone, soften myself up, poison myself. Um, so what, what you do, you, you wash it like that. After you've done that, you, you pull out the compartment, you wash that thoroughly, clean it, the softener, and the detergent box. You wash it 360 with a shower hose. Okay. Leave it there in the shower. You go and wash the uh, empty space where the pull out compartment detergent box used to be. And you might wash that too. You might want to wash that. Um, after this, you reinsert the detergent, the pull out detergent container, soft container, put it back in. You put some sort of bicarb where you normally put the detergent powder, sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda, maybe a tea, maybe a tablespoon in there, push it back in, and then you run the hardest machine setting, if that's 90 degrees or 60, but you want to run a hot cycle, okay, not lukewarm, like 60 or 90 degrees, a short program should be enough. And you, you run an empty machine, Okay, and you don't have on the like the centrifuge because there's nothing there to dry. Okay, you use some other vision. Okay, if you have one that has like a where it fills up the tank with water and keeps it there for a while and circles it, that would be a good one. So run a short but hot program on the machine. Now you clean your machine, and after this, you can start using sodium bicarbonate vinegar. 
to wash your clothes. Not the fragrance, the fatale, that's the commercial softener that's softening you up along with the testosterone. Okay. That contains these fragrances and fatalities that may be harmful for your health. Okay. So what I use is sort of bicon vinegar. So I put vinegar in the detergent compartment and in the softer compartment. And I throw bicarb in the tank on top of my clothes. And that's how I wash my clothes. They get real clean. They don't smell bad. They don't look dirty. It does the, gets the job done of cleaning the clothes. This type of stuff that is unique, that you don't find the shelf flinsters pretending to teach what you know about health fitness. They don't talk about this. Okay. They don't talk about this. They don't teach you these things. They don't tell these things you're doing along with the sauce and here's how to protect yourself. I'm unique in this. If you look at the whole thing that I'm doing. Yeah. So this is something you can do. And you use and bike card. After this, you put your clothes in the machine. You throw the bike card in the washing machine. Put it on top of the clothes. Close the lid. Uh, pour vinegar into the detergent compartment and the softer compartment instead of softener. You run your machine like that. And it gets the clothes clean, kills bacteria, bad smells, removes fat, stains. It does the same thing that a commercial does without lowering the testosterone. Okay. And poisoning yourself. <coughs> Possibly. And um, if you're in America, you don't have access to as strong vinegars in Sweden, possibly. In Sweden, we can buy 12% vinegar and 24% vinegar in the supermarket. So what you might want to do, you might want to put the uh, sort of bicarb in a sock, okay, and put it in the uh, washing machine, and then pour vinegar, if it's weak, it's strength like 4%. You might want to pour that on the clothes to have like your clothes absorb some of that vinegar, okay, to compensate for less power in the vinegar. Uh, lower strength you might want to like soak up the clothes pour some vinegar on the clothes let them absorb it uh, and then use more vinegar in the uh, detergent and softener box what you can do you can take caps plastic caps and put them in the detergent uh compartment or the app so you have like a little container you can fill with vinegar so when the water comes down from the top uh, it washes down so it doesn't all just instantly go down into a machine when you pour it into the box. So yeah, that's that's something you can use to wash your clothes instead of commercial. And switch to Leposope. Instead of using the commercial shampoo, you use Aleposope. Uh, and that will replace everything. Lower oil or Aleposope. Okay. You can have one in the sink, wash your hands. Have one in the shower. Have one to hand wash your, your, your pots and pans. In the kitchen um and about showering you can use the lepus of the shower and if like well it doesn't have perfume i want to smell good and i have bo so you want to mask the bad smell by covering it with perfume no here's a better way you make yourself let smell less bad this bad smell comes from bacteria okay cold or silver kills bacteria and inhibits bacterial growth topical use so i'm not saying you should drink it so you wash it you wash yourself in the shower with lepus soap. You get out of the shower, you dry yourself off with a towel. Now you're dry. Then you have a spray bottle with 10 ppm cold or silver. If you want to use 20, it will be better, but 5 to 10 ppm will be enough. 5, 10 ppm cold or silver. And you spray it under your armpits. Okay. When you've dried yourself off, spray it under your armpits. You can spray it on uh, your uh, private parts too. <laughs> okay. If you would want to. And spray your feet with it under the foot, on the feet, if you get like BO from your feet, you can spray it, the cold silver under your armpits, uh, or general area if you want to, uh, on your feet. And you can even spray it in your shoes and it will inhibit bacterial growth. So my shoes don't smell bad. Sometimes I'm out walking sweating like nothing else from my feet and they don't smell bad. I spray cold silver, now I haven't done it for a while. Sometimes I spray vinegar in there, but you can spray vinegar to kiss bacteria too. So chlorine silver not only kills bacteria, like vinegar when I spray it in my shoes, it kills when the bacteria smell in there because bad smell comes from bacteria, okay, that care by the sweat and grow on by the moist. It is like a UV less environment, dark. It's moist and there's salt in there. So it, it creates an environment. The salt might inhibit that, but basically your sweat, it, it's the smell, the BO is bacteria producing the smell, okay. So I spray my shoes with cold or silver. I have in the past. Okay. I caught myself why I haven't been doing that for a while. Okay. But 
I used to spray it in there, and not only does chlorosyl, but so vinegar or alcohol, whatever you use, something that kills bacteria, it evaporates. It's no longer inhibiting bacterial growth. That key bacteria make it hard for them to start growing in your, in your shoes or on your body. So the difference is, instead of again rubbing alcohol to kill bacteria, chlorosyl coating here makes it hard for bacteria to grow. If there's some bacteria being put out by your sweat, this environment that's called the chlorosyl nanoparticles, makes it hard for the bacteria to grow to a level where they produce a lot of smell, bad smell. It inhibits bacterial growth, topical use. I'm not recommending you drink it. Um, you can spray cold silver in your shoes and you wash yourself with the lepus soap in the shower, dry yourself off, and then you spray cold silver on your armpits instead of using the chemical roll-on. Now, it's not going to add a good smell like you're some kind of daisy wallflower. You're a man, okay? I want to smell like a rose. Or maybe go into the forest and wear flip-flops and have incense going and talk to the birds. I love the nature. Okay, whatever you want to do. But it, <laughs> okay, I'm not too concerned about smelling like a daisy or a lily or, or something like this. Okay, but if you got a part, I don't want to smell really bad. Well, you got a solution. Part of being a man is smelling a sort of way throughout history. No more men had gone on. Like, oh, I'm afraid to smell bad. People have been working hard. You sweat, you smell bad. You come home to your wife, you smell like an animal or <laughs> something like this. Okay. Uh, you go to war. You live in, in dirt, in the mud. You smell bad. Okay. It's like a man shouldn't be afraid or smell a little bit bad. And shouldn't be afraid of not smelling super good. Okay. Like some kind of perfume rose or something like this. Now, if you want that, there's natural things you can do. You can buy etheric oils, natural oils that have peppermint or cinnamon or whatever they have in there that you can put on your skin. That's not a toxic thing on your skin. That smells good. Okay. Um, but yeah, here's the Mike Saha's Pro Testosterone, Protect Your Testosterone, Detox Your Life, Healthy Alternative Way to Clean Yourself. Wash yourself in the shower with apple soap, dry yourself off. Okay. And if you're worried about bacteria, like the bad smell BO, you can spray cold silver on your armpits, on your balls if you need to. Okay, your ass, whatever you want to spray. Whatever you get a smell, that's bad. You can coat that area, problem area with cold silver. Let it dry in, soak into the skin. And it will be good at absorbing the cold silver. Like it will stay there because you dried off your skin. And okay, after the shower, there's no oils on your skin. The lip oil or soap will have to move the oil. So it's, it's not going to be like cold and it's not fat that is going to keep the cross from sticking to skin. So you spray the cross on the armpits, on your feet, uh, or whatever else problem there is. And that will inhibit bacterial growth and keep you from getting real bad BO. Okay, so you're welcome for these free solutions once again. You can also spray some of that cross in your shoes. Every day after you come home, spray some cross into your shoes and it will dry up and then there will be nano silver particles in your shoes that will uh, fight against bad smell happening in shoes. If there's bacteria in there, they're going to not grow as fast because they're called silver nanoparticles. You can spray a little bit of cold silver every day after you come home in, in your shoes. Okay, so we'll cover that. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hang my clothes here. Empty this because I have clothes in the washing machine that have been washed in sodium bicarbonate and vinegar. Not testosterone lowering softener and chemical detergent that has color crossbones for the saving some water that this might kill you. They have color crossbones, poison. A lot of people are washing their clothes in poison, okay? And then they wear the poison clothes. clothes. But they have a color crossbones triangle on the detergent, okay? Toxic if consumed called poison control, okay? Get this in your eyes, rinse with water 30 minutes, call uh, ambulance, whatever. That's not what I used to to wash my clothes. I use vinegar and sort of bicarb and gets the job done. These are not smelling. They smell completely neutral. No bad smell here. Any stains on them are gone. Gets the job done. Okay. And there's no softener there. Okay. Which is part of why I'm staying hard. Okay. And not I'm not soft in my body or my character. Okay. This part of it is not soft myself up with soft drinks and softener on my clothes. And soft serve ice cream with sugar loss with the soft strong. Okay. That's part of it. So I'm gonna put these in uh in here.
this is how I uh, store my clothes in these. I don't have a, what's it called, like a drawer. I use this. Dump that in there. Next up, I'm gonna wash my hands with a lip soap in the sink before I remove the cleaned clothes from the washing tank and hang them here. So here's the electrical soap they have in the sink. And it's not that much left. It's, it's almost used up. See? So you can imagine this shape more 3D. It will be like a cube or yeah, a cube shape. And there's not that much left. Um, but I bought some new. I have a new one that's in the uh, pot that I used to hand wash my clothes. Not clothes, dishes. I have it in a pot. Get a dish brush, rub it on there. And that's how I wash my pots and pans and stuff. Not the stuff with the chemicals in there. So, and that got the job done. My hands are now clean. Remove bacteria and fats before I touch my clean clothes. Now, I didn't put chemicals, fragrances, fatalities on there that are absorbed transdermally and uh, lower my testosterone and poison my body, see. And I didn't put some chemical liquid soap there and then run the hot water and then the soap becomes a fume. So I'm inhaling the toxic chemicals at the same time, transdermal absorption and inhalation absorption of toxic chemicals. Okay, notice how I didn't do that. Okay, so we're gonna be right back. It's like, it's weaponized. <laughs> Out of left field. Hold on. It's weaponized, goddammit. How long do I have to talk about it? It's weaponized. Okay. Meaning they've they've they this is a by design. It's like an evil villain in a super movie, in a superhero movie or something. Well get train the public to use poison on themselves every day to weaken them and destroy their minds. So they won't be able to figure out our evil plans. Let's get them to eat sugar that makes them dumber and have less energy to research and resist us. And let's get them, train them to eat things that make their mind be clouded and have lower IQs. They'll be easier to trick our agendas. When we tell them in the media, you have to do this to keep yourself safe right now, or this thing, they'll be easier to get to do it if they're dumb and not that sharp mentally. Let's soften them up mentally and physically so we have it. it's easy to control. You have to understand that. It's like, it's, it's like that's a useful mental model if you think about the world. It's like an evil super villain in a movie like cartoons, okay, to get his minions and henchmen to carry his, his evil will. Show them commercials of people eating Snickers. They are making more like they eat Snickers. Show them commercials for these shampoos that are not the best option, that may or may not lower the testosterone. <laughs> okay, show them, normalize it. Have everybody do this and other people that see other people do this, they will start doing it too. Normalize the use of toxic chemicals in society. You have to understand there's an agenda behind this. There's an agenda behind this, okay? This recent world is doesn't do reports. I have to find out myself. Go search ncbi.gov, PubMed, and, and search things, and I find oh, an article, fragrances and fatalities in, in commercial shampoo or detergent, whatever the thing I was, may lower people's testosterone. They're not having reports telling you this or Reuters. Some studies suggest that your shampoo might be lower your testosterone. Okay. Then no, because it's an agenda. Just like Reuters don't go, many people report having cured their allergies, make it all a common vitamin, vitamin C. Common vitamin with uncommon results. Uh, common vitamin with extraordinary results. Kind of similar to how, man, how I am an extraordinary man in, co in a 
come in position and Joe Rogan is a mediocre man in the extraordinary position. Okay. And I cut this up into piecemeal, meaning most of the time, a lot of time, I don't do it all in one go. I get the whole thing, empty the whole machine in one go. A lot of times it's like I, I get one or two shirts and hang it up. And then the next time I go to the bathroom, I get another thing in there and then hang it up. It's like I cut things up into piecemeal, little by little, a lot of times how to get things done. Okay, so that's three shirts, two shirts, and my uh, no mix shirt. This one I'm gonna wash it too. This is a uh, armor, part of my armor. This is a knife crew sleeve, which means uh, I'm into knife fighting and stuff. And this is uh, knife proof. So if you notice my training, a lot of times I'm training blocks. Okay, so I have a knife here, for example. I just got cut. So just got scared. Okay. So if somebody else has a knife, if I have one or not, and I'm somebody sends a stab here, and I'm wanting to use the windshield wiper defense, okay, the stab is coming like this, and I wanted to slam down on it and get it to change its trajectory and not hit me, okay? Now, if my arm would hit the blade of the knife, uh, I just cut myself. Now, obviously, you want to hit the hand or the wrist or something like this. But if I will be too fast and I'm like over, I'm, okay, timing is off. Here's the knife that's coming at me. Okay. Sometimes you can move out of the way like this. Okay. And it misses you. Or both. I like this defense. I practice this. Okay. Somebody throws a stab. Okay. They're headed for here. And I'm here. And I jump back as I do this. So either I'm going to hit the knife form. And it's gonna lose it's it's not gonna hit me anymore. Ultimately, this is what you intend it to do. It's a technique that can have that effect if you execute it right. Fast enough, right timing, good technique. So if it comes from here, I go like this. That could be enough to get the knife on to change trajectory and miss my body. Okay. If I hit it, I could also hit the wrist. Maybe the guy loses the knife. So you can have a static defense and aim for stand still, stand your ground. And then try to just make it miss you. <clears throat> a lot of times it's better if you combine it. So I'm jumping back while I'm doing that. See? So even if I fail, it's still like moving towards me. I might have increased the distance enough where it's not connecting. See? And then I can counter it. Or sidestep it. Uh, well, actually, it will be this way. Example. Um, yeah, so this software is good for that because if I would hit the blade, it's like a double sided blade or the point is upwards, and I hit it, and it's a knife here. I just cut myself. He didn't have to cut my arm, I cut my arm for him, trying to uh, parry his attack, okay, to block it. So this is a knife proof sleeve. It's not going to be a good defense against stabs, okay, it's designed to protecting and slashes. So if I would have this uh, guard, for example, if I'm like this and somebody throws a slash towards my head or neck, and I go like this, uh, and the slash connects here, this will, this is intended to stop it from cutting into my skin. It has stainless steel wires in here, okay? And they, I have gloves too, where the entire gloves are slash proof. But a lot of times they're, they're designed to protect against slashes, not stabs, okay? Just limitations. If you wanted to protect against stabs, you would have to have some hard armor, typically. Okay. Um, the wire mesh is more for slashes. And I have many of these. I have for my legs, my arms, wrists. I have I have all kinds of armor. And Warrior has armor. And versa. I have wrists. So it's like a, this big thing that's for wrist. Okay. Maybe around this. I have one that goes all the way from here to here. And I have, you can wear them on your legs too. And I have these. And then I have gloves if I want to wear them. So 
these are things that you can have that would uh, improve your chances if you're having to defend yourself against an armed attacker. Okay, meaning if someone would be attacked with a weapon, uh, this is a good thing to have because it, defensive wounds will happen. If somebody gets attacked with a knife, they end up at a corner table. This guy got murdered with a knife, either domestic violence, the husband kills the wife with a kitchen knife, steak knife, or somebody gets jumped in the street with a knife. A lot of times the body will have defensive wounds, whereas the person is attacking, the person being attacked is trying to parry blows and stuff. And they will have cuts on their forearms a lot of time uh, from called defensive wounds. Like they're, they're, they're being attacked and the, the, the natural reflex is untrained or trying to stop the attack from coming. There's the instinctual reflex, like how the human body tries to, like how you react naturally without having trained different techniques. Uh, and they will have defensive wounds. A lot of times it will be this area that's covered by armor right here. Okay. Which means uh, it can make a difference. Now, a lot of times if you're being attacked with a knife, you, you run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the, that's the, uh, that's a defense, okay? It's not I stand your ground and have to be the John Wick. No, I'm counting on my John Wick ability to be. I'm counting on my ability to be like John Wick here. I'm just gonna parry everything. I take him out, no problem. You shouldn't be like, that, okay? Um, but a lot of times, the best thing, the best defense is to run away, okay? If somebody is is pulling a knife on you, a lot of times the best thing to do is to run away from them because they can only hurt you if you're in reach, okay? And hoping on you being faster than the guy, okay? <laughs> because maybe the guy is a, can run faster than you. But if, okay, a lot of times running is a better defense, okay? Not like gotta stand your ground and kind of uh, on, on being able to take the person out, okay? Don't it's not cowardice to run. I saw Navy SEAL combat person, he's not a pussy, Navy SEAL Jock Wilkie. I saw one of his clips come show up talk about this. He has the same mentality. It's not like tough guy. If somebody jumps me the street, I'm going to destroy them. No, he's like, if I get attacked in the street, so I'm going to run. Somebody walks up to me, I'm going to run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, if somebody does this, I'm going to run. If somebody walks up to push me, I'm going to run. Somebody tells me, I'm going to run. Somebody pulls out, I'm going to run. Okay. That's going to be my reaction most of the time. Most situations. I mean, he's, he thought about his game plan. What would it be if this happens? He'd be like, I'm going to run. Okay. And then if he has no option, maybe. I Meaning it's like he can't run. He has no option but to fight. Um, meaning, for example, let's say, let's say you're a, what will the situation be? If I would be coming out of a cab and there's a guy he suddenly appears as I just opened the door and he's got a knife and he's started to stab me. Well, now I can't run and it's all I can do is kind of parry and, and try to counter understand. So there are some situations where running is not an option. Okay. There's some situations where running is not an option, but in general, you don't want to, your chances are better running. Okay. In a lot of situations. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So this is, I like this. Anyway, what are we going to do now? I'm going to make more coffee. And I'll show you how to do my coffee. Here. This is my coffee cup. This is espresso powder. And I want to add That's about a little more than a teaspoon of espresso powder. Maybe close to two maximum. Next up, 200 milligrams of caffeine. This is a tablet, caffeine tablet. So the bulk of the caffeine in this cup of coffee is coming from caffeine tablet. Next up, enrich it with electrolytes for better hydration. This is a mix. It's sea salt and Himalaya salt. Himalayan salt, pink salt. In a grinder. Grind some lavender. 
less than a gram. Next up. <clears throat> I got to take all this adaptogen combo tablets. This is an adaptogen combo supplement. Combines Russian root, no, Arctic root, Russian root, and Shisandra. Drop one of those in there. And then I'm gonna go to water. And apparently a 15 gram dose was not enough to give me a C flush. I did need to take a bathroom break. I took a 15 gram dose of vitamin C in half a liter water. One go. And it's been uh, more than 30 minutes and I didn't get a C flush. I don't know if it's the uh, tooth infection I got after going to the dentist that's burning up the vitamin C at uh, extreme rate. Or if it's the uh, numbness in my right leg from the dog guy I got here. They both feel similar. The tooth infection and the air on my right calf. I got hit with a dog guy. I don't know which one. They both. Maybe it's, it's causing inflammation. Uh, oxidative stress. But uh, yeah, so this one I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. It's not a smoking. Smoking pursues, I think it's approximately 30 milligrams of scopic acid per zero. Okay. So the more things you have attack your body, the more what I'm seeing. Right? Mm. Yeah. If you don't know what a dog can is, you can search CIA heart attack gun on YouTube. You found a video there. CIA heart attack gun. You can show what it gives you stroke, brain aneurysm, or heart attack. I believe I've been hit with something like this. And the water I'm boiling is uh, filtered water from out of my dolphin pond, which it says on the cartridge that the uh, the cartridge removes chlorine, heavy metals, herbicides, and pesticides. So if that's in your city water, that will be in the water supply. One of those things. The uh, advertisement is promising a reduction at least, or removes it. It will remove that. You don't say completely. Not anymore. It doesn't say reduce, it says removes. Removes chlorine, removes heavy metals, removes herbicides and pesticides from the water. And they can get away with putting that there, which means it has to have some significant effect in doing that, or they will be banned by that 
Swedish regulatory agencies. They don't let you false market products. If you're selling a product, you can't go, this will remove chlorine from water, and it's not doing that. If it's something that's like, they're going to get busted. Which means they've done tests and they ran water with chlorine, heavy metals, and herbicide pesticides in it through the filter. And then look, if this would test the water first, test the water after, there's less in there, or no, not, not at all, maybe after running through the filter. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a rehydration drink. And this is too small. Well, actually, we'll do it like this. Use this half liter glass. Next up. So I make it a little bit stronger than I would if this was going to be undiluted at some point. It was going to be undiluted. Next up, I'm going to add coconut milk, which also aids hydration. So this is electrolytes in there. Okay, minerals. Himalayan pink salt has a rich, complete mineral profile. It's sea salt. It's Himalayan salt in filtered water. And then coconut milk. And if you mix coconut milk diluted with water, you pretty much get coconut water. And coconut water in and of itself hydrates you more than normal water. Spin this up. And I have my rehydration drink here. Tastes a little salty, more salty than sweet. Nothing, disclaimer, nothing I've said in this live stream is to be taken as health advice, health fact, or medical information or medical advice. If you have a health problem, consult a licensed phys physician, talk to a doctor. If you have mental health problems, consult a licensed psychologist or doctor. Talk with your doctor before you start taking any supplements. Or stop eating certain things okay consult your doctor before making any health changes diet supplement lifestyle changes and what you've seen me do in this live stream is not necessarily recommended practices but it's just showing what i'm doing I've had many serious attacks from the system. Another thing they do, did to attack me, I believe. I believe they hit me with something that I inhaled. If that's asbestos fiber or glass fiber or some kind of toxic powder or something. But I started having a cough. At first I thought it might be 
at first I thought it might be uh, the neck I started taking, which sometimes neck can make you start copying up flag and mucus. But thinking back, there was an event where uh, in the moment I thought that they, they hit me with something, attacked me with something, something inhalation. Okay. I can't go into details, but there was something that happened when I was outside where I believe that the uh, matrix, the government gang stalking program, hit me with something that I inhaled. Okay. Then it looked like that to me, looking on the event, what happened, what transpired. It looks to me like they attacked me with something that I breathed in. Okay. In a certain setting. Um, and I don't know if it was asbestos fiber or glass fiber or the, some kind of toxic chemical powder. I don't know what it was. Chemical gas, or toxic gas. I don't know what it was. But there was something. I do believe that they hit me with something I inhaled. And it was after this event that I started having a cough. And that would be a way to attack some liability like they always do. But they want to think that it's my smoking. Okay. So if I start coughing because they attack me with some, something toxic that I inhale, they want to think, well, it's a smoking that's finally started to have an effect and start to cough, something like this. I'm going to take the second B complex tablet of the day. I don't think I would have been alive today necessarily if it wasn't for all the supplements I'm taking. And I ne definitely, if I was alive, I would be as healthy, strong, fit, and healthy. This is the uh, B complex supplement that I take. B Max, it's called. And it contains B1, pardon me, B1, B2. Niacin, can I take acid, B6, B12, biotin, folic acid, inositol, PABA, and 10 milligrams of zinc. You gotta take one of those. I'm the target of what's called government gang stalking. Government gang stalking. And it's a modern global version of the Sersetsen program that the German government had in the 70s and 80s. I'm gonna post the link Sersetsen article. I would not be surprised if I get a fake bogus copyright strike on the Facebook live stream that happened before when did a cooking live stream and they removed the videos so other people couldn't see it and uh, claimed that there was copyrighted music in it. And I went and clicked it and watched it, and there's no music at all. It's the sound of me cooking and water on out of faucet and me talking. And there's no music that you can hear in the video. I wouldn't be surprised if I get another bogus false copyright strike on this video. And it's like we found copyright copyright and it's timestamps. 12 minutes, 14 seconds. It's like there's no if I go check it, the timestamp, no music there. And it's like the sound of me pouring water into a glass or something like this. This is the Sersetsen program that the German government had in secret in the 70s and 80s. Oh, I see we has been in here. I wasn't checking the chat. Honey, I will sleep soon, huh? She wrote. Good night, honey. Darwin, I love you too, babe. I love you a lot. You're my sweetheart, and I love you. Um, this is the Sersetsen article. I didn't see her comments. Regretfully, I didn't see her comments when she was writing them. So maybe it was 30 minutes ago or something, and I was I didn't see that I got new comments. I wasn't checking it. But here is the uh, the Sersetsen article on web on the website. You can find it in the chat. I, I post I put it in the chat. Okay, it's a link to the Wikipedia article about this past program that mirrors the program I'm going through today in Sweden. I mean, this is a secret program called Government Gang Stock, is what it's called by people that are targeted with it. It's not the best term. It's not gang stalking. I'm not in a gang. It's not gangs that are stalking you. 
like criminal gangs, something like this. Um, the gang stalker means part of the harassment, part of the targeting that you get if you're a target individual, put on this matrix hit list, this matrix crap list, okay? Matrix, the matrix, like the government doesn't like you. You're doing things, good things. You're whistleblowing about something. A lot of targets become target individuals because they're whistleblowing about some corruption or something. Um, and that program is a modern, this Sir Setson, what I'm being taught with today, is a modern global version, I meaning it goes on in America, Sweden, other countries. And this is what I'm being taught with, government gang stock, as it's called. It's a modern version of this. So if you want to understand what I'm talking about, don't go looking at YouTube because they have a lot of fake target videos that have a job, the counterintelligence agents, you might call them. They have a job to pretend to be TIs and then discredit the topic by putting out crazy talk that sounds nuts to people. Like my, I'm a type with sad lights or the government put a chip in my brain or, or something crazy sounding. Okay, the fakes will talk about that. ELF, V2K, they love to talk about V2K and r &M and electronic harassment. They love to talk about that. EMF weapons, directed energy weapons is one of the favorite things for them to talk about. Direct energy weapons. Um, so how, how I get attacked is uh, down to earth. Chemicals, dart guns, I've been hit with that. Try to make me have an accident. Poison me. Okay, poison my food. Things like this is what you might get if you're a real target video. The fakes love to talk about direct energy weapons. And you might have a few real TIs that have been deceived by listening to the face into thinking they're attacked with these fancy weapons, but in reality, they're being poisoned by the program. Attacked with chemicals, gases, things like this. Um, and when they have symptoms of being poisoned, food poison, that program sneaks into their apartments, got covered entry, put poison in the food, or distribute contact chemicals in the environment, like some kind of mystery powder or some kind of chemical they put in their apartment. And they start getting symptoms, or they're outside and get sprayed with chemicals. That can happen. Perps can hold things in their hand and spray you with a chemical or shoot you with a dart gun. People work for the program. And uh, they have symptoms, and they think it's direct energy weapons, you know, the symptoms. So there might be a few real targets that believe that they're attacked with direct energy weapons, and that's how they're really attacked, and satellites in space and stuff like this. There's a lot of disinfinity in community. I'm not part of that problem, spreading disinformation and hyping crazy sounding stuff about the targeting so yeah uh, i don't recommend like look into it yourself because all you're going to see are fake people they're going to show you the website they wanted to see they're going to show you the videos that they want you to see from fake ts and their job is to get to not believe in this <laughs> okay that like say videos here i am exposing you and the goal of the person's video is to get you to believe that it's not real and that they're crazy and other ts are crazy people talk about this so if you want to understand gang stock, look at the website that I share with you. First of all, this one. And what I get told with is a modern global version of this program. The Sir Setson program that the German government had targeted people in the 70s and 80s. So what I'm told with is a modern version of that. Like a new form of this program. Same type of program, only happening today in Sweden. And if I live in America, I'll get targeted there too. You can't move away from the targeting. And here's the other website I'm going to share with you. And the original site got moved, moved from the internet. Okay, it, it's not available anymore, which is why I had to go find the uh, a mirror of the website. This is Chuck Langenberg's website. He was a real talent video, as I am, and he was doing what I do, getting the word out about this, and exposing the fake TIs and their tactics. Like this is how they keep this a secret. They got crazy talkers going around. Spreading the same from the same for crazy to talk about it. Talking about tap with direct interrupt, satellites in space, cheap implants. Okay, <clears throat> crazy enough. The crazy talks how to discredit this. The fake TS.
in the fake TR movement. It's like 99% fakes in this community, I think. At least 90. Yeah, so this is a website to the Saita Google Sports Gang Stalking website. It's a mirror of it. So before I used to share a short link, that website went offline, which is why I'm having to share this long link now. That is a mirror, a backup. Okay, a mirror, a backup, uh, a mirror of the web original website. So you can still find the website, but it's a longer link, which doesn't matter because if you click the link, it takes to the same place pretty much. Not pretty much. It's the same website, only mirrored on another uh, internet site, the Wayback Machine, Internet Archive. So if you want to know what this is, you can click those two links, read about it. If you're a conspiracy realist, a truther, and you want to learn about the seed government conspiracy, they might hit you at some point somebody you care about you might become a target who knows um you can read the website sir Setsung, and this other link these two websites take a look there read and you have a good understanding of what comment king socket really is rather than if you listen to the fakes so i'm gonna finish up not to kill yourself bye